But without further ado, I'd also like to introduce a new teacher that has arrived today. Hello! Oh, oh. there he is now. <laughs> Feel free to Pleasure step to meet forward you. and introduce yourself, sir. Pleasure to meet all of you. It's nice to meet you all. My name is Lorne Barnes. I am your new evocation teacher. And I'm here to help you fight against the various enemies of the dark. Various beings that have sensed to come out into this world and infect and destroy, take over everything of everyone here. One of the things that I've done to prepare yourselves for this as a slight introduction is that I've made some trainee wands. And these are not very powerful, mind you. These are here so that I can see how each of you are well attuned to your magics. For evocation is not a sense of blasting as much magic as possible towards your enemies. There's conservation, there's control, there's understanding of your situation, being prepared for the enemy ahead, and knowing as much knowledge about your enemy as possible to know how to best deal with them. But there are some enemies who are more weaker than certain types of magic, and the more knowledge that you gain of these, the better you're able to fight against those various forms of evil and antagonism. So with that, it's my pleasure to meet all of you at this point. And at some point today, I would like to invite you all over to the shooting range. I have uh, delivered, uh, once more as I've mentioned before, the various wands that I wish for all of you to choose from. And I would at least uh, see how many of you are at least able to evoke magic. And I'd like to thank all the teachers and the headmaster for calling me. Thank you. And it's a pleasure to meet all of you. And I hope to do you well at this point. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me as you invite me to your home. And I try my best to be a welcome guest. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. And I hope we can all get along. Thank you, Professor Barnes. Before we all head out to the range to practice with wands we have mail so i'll be calling the fairies to deliver that now there isn't much mail so but once the mail has arrived uh, we'll all be heading to the training range where i believe the new professor will be showing you the ropes with the wand mm. Everyone else, uh, you are dismissed. I'll see you at the range in five minutes. I'm sure the other professors will help you get there, uh, Barnes. Yes, I, I'm in your care. <clears throat> Shall we, Professor? Aye, right, let's get to it. Let's see how well the kids can blast some targets. I made you surprised. Yeah, I, I'm listening to you, sir. Don't worry. My my ears can only go some port. But yes, it's uh, I was up all night enchanting these, so I'm hoping they uh, they work just fine. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sure that it will all work out thanks to your hard work, Professor. Hey, hey. Be very interesting to see how you folks handle wands. Hmm. I don't I'm normally sure cast magic or wands. I have a very small mana uh, pool, so I have to be very Professor careful Robert. how I use it. Um. Yes. I, I I was wondering if you could check my room out. Um, at some point in the day, I have something strange to show you. Uh -huh. uh, I, it's hard to explain, and I, it, it will sound weirder as the more I. Explain. I've it, seen it I'll happen, so don't, trust what don't he's showing. Trust what, yeah. <laughs> yes, I go. The blue portal is the one that leads you the closest to the Colosseum. Hi, hi. The infirmary and the range something to help you remember professor Aye. the color above the portal that you see 
That is the one that's in front of that's you. So this is the I've red tried opening portal. It three times. Ah, I gotcha, gotcha. Oh, I remember it in time. I'm I sure you wrong. will. I may. Yeah, you get some. Get some signs on at that point. Which one was it? The blue one, the stadium. Blue, correct. The blue one takes us to the stadium. Yes. It seems is to it, me now. Is it working? Come on, you. Hold up. Hey, wait. Let me try. <laughs> And there we are. What, what? I told you to work. Now work. I've got it. Who broke it? <laughs> oh, it's not well, well, we can go close enough. That'll be good closer. enough. But is this a prank? <laughs> Quick, no. on. Whoosh. Quick. This way. Oh, for chimney. Which uh, <sighs> angle is the shooting range? I don't know where they dropped off the box. Oh, that All way. Right, oh, so this. that one that we went through, it is orange. Aye, aye. Orange is center. And then down here, yep, the shooting range is to the left. Ah, when gotcha. You get down here. See, that's where everyone else is going. Well, at least we all figured it out together. Let's get to shooting targets. Yes. Yeah, right here is where the Coliseum is. Oh, yeah, they saw it on the flyby here. It was very impressive. I like how very modern it looks. Mm. Very fine craftsmanship on that one. Mm. And notice the lack of a concession stand. I'm sure we'll get one in there whenever we have large crowds. If it ever happens. Yeah, I mean, if you get one. Oh, I see. <laughs> crowds, you yeah. smell yeah. Very very ah, actually, you work very uh, well. dinner set up in the main hall for the Make students and staff alike. I love your hair. Oh, what? Or like a oh, concession yeah, arena. Is this all of them? This should be most of them. That appears so, yes. I will uh, get in the lineup. I can wait a few more minutes. If you'd like. Uh, that could be fine. Let's give them a few more minutes to make sure all of them are here. And, you know, I'm very used to some people being late. Never think so. Do you survive the desert? Mm. Fortunately, yes. I'm glad to see everything else. And I, I do apologize, by the way, of the, uh, of the drink thing. I, they seem to drink. Oh, no, 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 no worries. Don't, uh, nothing to apologize for. There was, uh, a great deal of morale needed to be raised out there in the desert. Oh, shall I do so? Yeah, for yeah, obvious reasons. But... Announce it. If you want to announce it. Yeah, for that, uh, for that uh, latest news. I, uh... It's unfortunate, but it's the nature of the, uh... It's the nature of this kind of place, I guess you could say. So do you know them most and more than me? Could you make sure that your, uh, your squads and the other squads are here? For the assistance of the others? Mm. I certainly can. It appears to be most everybody here for the time being. Let's see, was there, uh... Just yeah, yeah, he's here too. Yeah, it seems like them. Yeah, should be here. Some people tend to show up relatively late, but uh, I don't know. You appear to be the kind of person who shows up precisely when they mean to. Exactly. I read that book too. It was a good book. Of, rat, of rattlings on a long journey. It was a good book. All right, Professor Vaughn, I'll wait for the command. Let's, uh. Yes, that should be everybody. Good. All right. Go ahead. Stacks, let's line on up, students. Pay attention. I was just casting <laughs> water. Don't worry. All right. Are you we have one final announcement for all of you before you begin. Oh, 
Uh, Ignis, maybe scoot over a bit. Final announcement here. That the headmaster wished to let all of you know. Misty, I am speaking. Jixi, heads up! Is that the weapons have been upgraded, particularly the guns and bolts. So feel mm. free to familiarize, familiarize yourself with them after your lesson is completed. That is all. <laughs> Professor? Aye, thank you so much. Once more, in case people in the back didn't hear me the last time, I am Lorne Barnes. It once more is a pleasure to meet all of you. One of the things they've done is uh, prepared some training bonds for you. So, you know, these were not mega powerful. They are meant for demonstration purposes to help teach you how to basically combine the magic that's either within yourself, around your surrounding areas, and learn how to project it efficiently. Because one of the things that I see most specifically on the battlefields is that people like to blast large cones of fire down the range, expelling all manner within themselves or around. And that is highly inefficient. I have seen many a mage knight die in battle due to this, due to wasting all their mana on one large blast, hoping they can get the most enemies for it. So this is to help teach you all on how to basically bring your, cell, bring your inner selves out and project it into a lethal force. But these are non-lethal, and I would like to basically have one squad each go to each of the racks and grab themselves a wand. You can see that the wands are placed right here. And there's plenty enough for everyone to give a try. So, I don't know if the squad leaders are here, but I can may introduce ourselves. Hello, sir. My name's Lorne Barnes. It's a pleasure to meet you. What squad are you? Pleasure to meet you. General squad. General squad. Don't worry. Yes. So, those without colors on their uh, suits, on their uniforms, are in general squads. They haven't been placed into any specific squad just yet. Still vitally important. With that, mm. could you please take that box over there and position yourselves within this area, please? All right. And you? What is yes, your sir. name? Yes, sir. Oh, I'm designated as Rook. Nice to meet you, Professor. Well, designated as Rook. Nice to meet you. My name's Rowan Barnes. Put it in. And nice to meet you. Could you please take upon that one and get within that area, please? Does not matter if you mix with another squad. It is quite fine. And hello. What is your name and your squad? I am Shizuko Nontako. I'm this is Crystal Thorn. Nice to meet you, Shizuko. Yeah, it's just nice to meet you. Lovely, lovely outfit you have there. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Could you please designate your squad to that rack and either take the left wall or right wall there, please? And you, what is your name, sir? Zachary Fang. This is Vanguard. Nice to meet you. My name is Ron Bond. Excellent demeanor, excellent demeanor. Please filter in any empty slots that are available, please. And grab yourselves your wands. That's good. He said grab it. Yes, gonna happen. And where is the rest of your folk? I believe they're taking the day off, sir. Ah, I see. Regardless, it is always good to learn how to do things yourself sometimes, and sometimes you'll never be able to rely on other people. Oh! Just set it up. Please do not vote from your wands yet, please. Very nice to meet you. Please. Hannah Hart, sir. Nice to meet you, Dion. Please take a spot wherever free and grab yourself a wand. Now, please do me a favor, all of you. If I may grab one myself. Let us see here. Are you able to come through here? Ah, that's right. There is a point in time. I'm not wanting to sword fight you. things I'm going to do here. Yeah? Hey, uh, Very well. Hey, about hey. size, okay? All of you, one's down, <laughs> one's down, one's down. Don't worry about anything misfiring. They can't exactly hurt me. <laughs> one's down, do not evoke magic. One down, do not evoke magic. 
Now. At this point, I'll go one at a time. You now have your wand out, yes? On the count of three, each of you can get your own wands, by the way. You don't have to share. No, it's, it's too many wands. Uh, too many? Okay, okay. Yeah. one at a time. Many one many at a time. We're going to pass around the wand. Very well, very well. My killer eyes, yeah. yeah. I understand. So one at a time, I would like all of you, when I give the go-ahead, you'll see me stand in the middle there, evoking something, and you'll mm. see. At that point, I want you to open fire. I need to test all of your guys' affinity. And take a turn. No. Get ready soon when the signal's called. Yeah. All right. Do we have any yep. to fix or how to oh, shit with this? Yes, yes. Maybe Maybe just just swing. Actually, into it. one of the things I wish for you to try... It, whether it's not a potion mm -hmm. Let me see your raw ability yeah, first. Please point that wand and try to evoke what you can. Yeah. It might be hard, and you might see nothing come through it. Nothing come out. <laughs> when you make snow, think of it like that, maybe. Now, I want you to think... Now, before you do anything now, I need you to get in the right mindset. Now that you're in this mindset, you have an intent to kill. You have an intent to harm. You, know, you feel energy surge within yourself. Now point to your this target like and say, Lauren. Uh, she has... Has... The words with Lauren? Lauren. Mm -hmm. And then release your magic. Lauren. Excellent. I hope you and the rest of you were listening. Good. Now for you. So who's okay. next? Now, who's gonna get the next? I need you all to listen to me closely. You can go, you can go Rex. Come around, come around. I want you to take your wand. Now at this point, do you know how to cast magic? First of all. Yes. Excellent. Point the wand at a target. And I want you to look deep inside of yourself. Oh. And at this point, I want Too you short. to feel inside the magical, the magical that's within your soul. Uh, nope. uh, a magical target, and speak the word, roar in. Come again. Have you ever cast a spell uh, very well. I'll repeat myself. Reach into the magic that's inside of your soul and focus it through basically the lanes within your body. At that point, point with intent to your target and speak the words, roar in. And magic will flow through. Lauren. Lauren. Right, um, give it a shot. Lauren. Lauren. Excellent. Lauren. Lauren. What does that mean? Lauren. Professor. Lauren. It's an ancient Elvis word to help, in, well, help with the beginning scriptures of magic. Why is there such a high arc? And also, there's Ipsum at the bot beginning up at the bottom of it, but no one ever says that word. It's highly inefficient. Now, learn from your squad and teach the information that has been presented to you. Hello? Where's your squad? Right here. Hello, nice to see you. Apologize, due to how this has to go, we have to do it one at a time. Pick up your wands, please. You'll have to learn from each other on this one. Pick up your wands. Aim at your targets. Aim at your targets. Now, before you do anything, evocation is something that is meant to be projected for, but you must learn efficiency. You must learn, basically, how to take small amounts of your magic and project them forward. Now, gather a piece of your magic and be sure the rock block the rest of the way. You are not a pail to be dumped out. You are, you are a hose. You are a river that can be stopped by a dam. Now point at your target and speak the word, Lorim. And then, fire. Lorim! Fire. You not mix together. Excellent. Continue to practice. Nice to meet all of you. I apologize for the wait. Due to certain safety measures, we had to split the groups. Please grab your wands. Now at this, now at this point, I am. I want to teach you how to basically control your magical output. Imagine your soul and your magical reserves within yourself, more or less of a river that could be stopped by a dam or a log crashing into it and stopping its flow, re-diverting it back into its main. You're not a bucket that pours out all at once. Now take your wands, summon your magic through the magical lanes within your arm, and speak the words, Lorim. 
Go rim. Go rim. You want to try it again? Go rim. 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 Go there we go. No worries on that one. You'll be fine. It was good. Hello. Nice to meet you. Check this out, Ryder. Sorry to take so long to get to you. Please pick up. Bam. There you are. Now, how much magic have you cast? Only group spell, sir. I'm one Tharun, but I'm not a caster, sir. Have another it is fine. These wands are basically enchanted to allow you to cast through magic that is surrounding your area. Now, what I would like you to do is, since you, if you do not have the ability to formulate the magic within yourself, imagine the world that is around you. The grass, the rocks, the air. Mana is everywhere, but it can only be in certain limited amounts, but you are on top of a ley line in the school. You have access to plentiful of it, but you must learn how to control it. These bonds, although can funnel a quite bit of magic, I've made them to where the exit is only so small. You must learn to take a bit of that magic to the world and turn it into theirs. But these wands also help with that, to help you understand the concept. So do me a favor, point forward, and speak the words, Lorem! Just... I just pew pew like seven times in one uh, I didn't know I could do this. There's a caster in you yet. Uh, <laughs> Give it a try. You're on top of an unlimited source of magic. Take as much time as you need. Learn the concepts. Magic enters basically into the grains of the wood. And then focus through and then project outwards the point of the wand. It uses your will and your mind to basically be sent forth. <laughs> Understand the concept? Um, yeah, um, I think so, sir. I'm excited, right? Well done. At that point, take as much practice as you need. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I have people getting rowdy. <laughs> No heavens. I feel you're having plenty for your fun. It's currently being. I don't think they're controlling it very well. No. Oh, 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 teacher. Teacher, sir. He's got a problem. Hey, check this out. Check this out, sir. <laughs> well, you see, if I remember who you are, it's nice to see you again, but explain to me why you would try to cast a spell like that. Fuck uh, yeah. Well, I kind of figured in my head I could say the word really fast and cast it like that. Good, you have been learning. There are certain spells in which you can say vocally, but once you get good enough at spell casting, you say them inside of your mind. So you have progressed far enough, I'm actually quite impressed with you. But one of the things you must learn is that some spells are not best left inside of your mind. Certain spells if left inside will make a certain man go crazy. So be mindful of the spells uh, that you keep in your mind. <laughs> Practice slow. Yes, sir. You must learn constraint with your yes, invocation sir. spells. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You okay over there? there Carver. Yes. Can you help me assemble the students? Hmm. Of course. You two assemble them. Yes, please. Alright, students, one's down, line back up. All the steps. Alright, getting in line. Really, uh, shot too much. Gotta get Alright, I'll just stand right here then. We'll form a line. Your mana pool would probably be a good idea. Yes, yeah. I want people peeking the bullet. Get lined up. And there it goes. Yeah. Otherwise, 
Mm-hmm. Professor Barnes, have you seen someone die just because of casting a spell and having a lot of mana depletion? <laughs> you mean someone ran out of mana and died as a result of that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, the majority of ones that I saw who ran out of mana were stabbed repeatedly during battle. You saw one who drained of mana and died from mana exhaustion. I think so. Sounds like You should ask some of your other teachers on that one. They can better tell you those effects. I can answer and it's something you should worry about. Yes. Rex, can you step forward a bit? Sure. Good. Quick question. Did everyone have fun with the wands? Everyone had a good time? I had a blast! That is the incorrect question. That's the incorrect answer as well. So it comes to the point to where... I've already given you a suggestion, Professor. So it's to the point to where... I hope you've learned that some of you, I understand, have probably had the idea to spend as much magic as possible to have fun with them. I understand that. Once you find the ability to cast forth and send whatever magical bits all throughout the world, it's quite exciting. You're able to basically go forth and destroy your enemies at a whim. You are, by far, compared to the common man, gods compared to them. But also at the same time, as you know, as much as they come down to help sometimes, they show massive amounts of restraint. But that's something that you must also show as well. These wands are meant to be a teaching tool. They are meant to show you on how to send forth your magic in a reserved level. Not something to shoot willy-nilly. Not something to spend all of your efforts upon. But during battle and during missions, you must learn to conserve your strength throughout the entire thing, for none, none of us know how long the mission will last. And this concept is to help show you that some of you might feel just a tad bit woozy from all this. Some of you who have shot way too many, way too many shots might feel like you might want to sit down for a little bit to regain your strength. So what happens during a mission when you begin to go willy-nilly with your magic to every target? What if you're not prepared and you do not understand the targets that you're coming over to face? Will you just send the same form of magic to them time after time? Is your arsenal of magic one spell? These are questions I would like you to learn. A evocation is not anything but just going forth and then casting out magic. That is not the simplicity of it. That is not that it is involved. It is involved conservation, knowledge of your enemy. Because if that spell doesn't work, what else do you have? What is your backup plan? So that is all that I can teach you for today. And I hope this was a nice introduction to something that I would like to teach you all in the future. Thank you all for your time. And feel free to come back and learn the prospects of basically what these are. For wood is an excellent way to contain the magic and help focus it. But sticks are not the only thing that can do it. And through the lessons I teach you, I hope to have your own wands crafted. Either from wood or other materials. Thank you all so much for your time. It is a pleasure to meet you all. And I hope we become friends in the future. That's a neat trick I did there. It just stays there. You did a good job. Hmm. Look how it floats. I'm pretty impressed by myself. Oh, that? I believe your squad leaders are here. Uh, I'm not sure if I could say... I don't know if I could say dismissed yet, but... Hmm? Are you trying to grab my wand from it, eh? Do it. Do it I can. Yeah. Oh, quick question. Who wants to have some quick fun? Me. Hmm. I like fun. Actually, I, I figured it would be a good hazing yeah, introduction I'm putting on myself. Thing, okay. so, and then here. we'll regret it. Uh -oh. I'll allow you to have the first shot. There you are. Okay. Now, let's see who can do the most against me at this point. I'll give you all ten seconds. Line up. Line up on the row. With it, the most with our wands. Oh, boy.
Come get me! Oh ho! Oh ho! You can't do nothing against me! For I have the strongest defense around! Nothing you can do against me! I have the strongest defense around! Can do nothing against me! Can do nothing against me! You may all stop trying to kill me now. Right. Someone else want to go? <laughs> hey! Watching you. Watch the beard. He grows that every day. Gotta say I made those underpowered. Or else a certain someone will be digging ditches. Good thing I didn't try. There you go. Please assemble! I think I have a solid idea. Alright. And then the girl's like, are you done already? Yeah. Yeah. How do I do the shield thing that you just did? Oh, no, I'm really badly. Attend my class. Oh, my we'll help you out. I don't know if I have the evocation class. Who mm. skip? Who's, yeah. I assume you sign up or get assigned to it. Lila, that's what limited evil kills is. That was offered. It'll be a class for all of us. No. Don't worry. Do lots of reading in the library. That's why I love it. Oh, are you gonna show me this thing? Sure. And every time I've come across some of them hit protect them. Some of them hit particularly hard because they're trying to show themselves up a little bit. And some of them show strength. Some of them are trying to pace themselves as instructed. It's to the point and. You were there. Blue hair on. Yeah. Like, if you have any trouble in particular casting spells, yours were a um, bit soft. Well, I've been focusing too much on using my lightning for attack, my affinity for lightning for attacking, and I've been trying to. I, I use my water for defense, but I've been trying to. Ever since we went to the water cave, I couldn't use lightning underwater, obviously, because I would hurt everyone in my squad. So I was trying to use my water, but I. I used to use water bolt as a kid. But your own instruction, you can choose to come along, or you can teach. Now when I try to cast it, as you want, and try to find a bigger reason why. Yeah. The new rifle, sir. So I think it's just a visual. Thing. I, I'm gonna keep practicing. Mm, that drop is. I tend my classes if you so. Wasn't there before, was it? That's my plan, because no. it's hard to attend the other ones. <laughs> I, I, I believe in you. We'll figure you out. At this point, um, I just hope we get an abjuration teacher eventually. Because that's what I focus on is ab evocation and abjuration. I can help you with that. Example, what do you think we, I wonder when we're going to get to sign up. Probably in another month or so. They have sign ups for classes, it seems like. Yeah, uh, sure. Continue. Good luck, Rodney. Um, uh, I also been. What, what you've been talking about, I've been dealing with that problem. I don't know how to control my output. Every time I shoot, uh, it, well, I use a large quantity of mana. And then I would have to use a drain function. I see. Drain the surrounding mana from the area and 
and from people, even my own allies. So I was wondering, uh, well, I would like to sign up for the classes at least so I can learn how to at least try to control. Absolutely. I don't know if it's mechanical or the I, do, I will do my best to help you out as you are in a particular kingdom. Yes, your studio construction it might be different, but we might be able to find two. Might just be a simple change of enchantment, or it might be a long journey. We'll find it out together. Thank you. No problem. Yes. Uh, what exactly are these made out of? Are they enchanted uh, the, or is there? Leaves are made of pine. I could never aim those things. Very, very simple wood. Very much used to cut a remake force and the like. And I enchanted these myself to help you. Channel your magic through these. Yeah. Would they happen to be pine wood? I heard that most of the common training ones are out of pine wood. Yes, that's what I said. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear that. I apologize. <laughs> no I'm glad you could tell that from your nose, though. I apologize, but one time. What spell is it that you enchanted it with? Uh, it's a small form of a magic mystery. Very common spell. You should have put it away into the crate once you're done. That's 500 meters away instead. Mm. Would you be willing to at most possibly get the enchantment on parchment? I would recommend bringing it up. Well, I'm sure you that can that can happen some... in a way. Uh, what's the time? Is, do you have the means of like, uh, learning to enchant and things like that? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I used to at least. You must learn the basically the principles of magic missile and pretty much the rune, the runes and the ley line structure to make them. Have you made scrolls before? Uh, not scrolls, but I've enchanted objects, sort of. Uh, of course. That reminds me, there was a student that I used to have that basically took a teapot, enchanted it, and she thought she had the right spell. But every single time she poured, flame would come out. We don't need mana. Oh. It converted water to flame. So at that point, you need to be very careful. Mm. But at that point, but at that point, well, at that point make sure you get permission from your teachers, and I'll try to help where I can. We can go to the library and try to research it for you. Because you need to learn the fundamentals of which to do that. Because any wrong scribble, you may just summon a demon. Just say, like, you have the cross. Yeah, we're gonna summon another writer. No, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't talk that bad on anybody. That's but, 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 yeah, I've been going through the libraries. Not many of them are covered on spells, more of just describing what the magic schools do. I, uh, as far as I imagine, I was told your folks' library was top notch. So at that point, you'll definitely be able to get the basics of that done. Further information from that is from various minds. So at that point, I'll do my best to help you in the future. Don't worry about it. Look, you've grabbed it and you've taken it to the box. Allow me to leave. Sure. Uh, uh, get new books. as long as you're okay. Making sure. Look again to the librarian. Probably she can help you around. She helped me a lot with finding a common book because. Right. It's still really hard to. I will attend to. I gotta make sure anyone else can tell. If any come questions, can just come tap me. Things sure. going fine. Yeah. Yes, sir. I... How was your first day? I feel the students are quite energized and delighted by everything that has happened. Yeah, it's just to set them up for it to make sure they see what their aptitude was and the test how well they conserve their energy. And some of them need work. Not very well, it seems. No. <laughs> There's a bit of a wild spectrum. Some of them really want to win. Unfortunately, they don't understand that they just need to do just enough to get the job done. I've noticed that our particular vanguard school, them in the purple over there, were eagerly firing until some of them slumped over their own firing range. Let me make sure uh, anyone needs, if any of them have any questions by the way, be sure to send them to me. I'll be more than happy to help. <laughs> Absolutely. I am sure they will be quite curious once they are done being overly excited by everything that's happened. Excellent. Excellent. That is, uh, let's check on things. Psychosis? Is he saying things? Yes. He's looking around without a care in the world and losing track of his conversations and whatever that is right there. 
Is there anything wrong with you, son? Thing, but, you know, so. I'll wait till enough air gets to his head. Is it? Brooke? He's just. Let's look. Hey, go make sure. Go make sure he's fine. Yeah, you know, the concept down. He's a caster. He's a caster. He's easier. Oh, What's up? The best part is what? What is your specialty, Miss? Huh? What time? Excuse me. What was your specialty again? Um, specialty uh, firearms, sir. Firearms. Uh, well, you see. Or are you talking about infinity? No. Uh, either or. May I see your pistol? Of course. Ah, uh, yes, no. You see, they basically... Is this enchanted or just simple? Um, not yet, sir. I'm mm. hoping to add runes to it and try to channel magic for it to try to transmute uh, through it. I mean, obviously there are obviously rifles and everything else. You see that even though there are some who are not blessed with the winds of magic, it is to the point where you can still technically be considered a caster, especially with the modern implements such as these. I wouldn't let yourself get down on it. For your mana pool is not within yourself, but the world around you. So, as the days goes on, the more you'll learn, you'll figure out how to make weapons like these your very own. If it wasn't that the mission they were Don't let yourself get down on it. Thank you, sir. But the more you learn, and basically how evocation works, the more you understand how better you can make your weapons more efficient. You'll get there. Um, yeah, I can do it with him. Oh, I've been sir. This is my, uh, I might. My main attack for the longest time, and I use my. Um, I might not be a caster, uh -huh. sir, but I, I would like I mean, permission I to. We kids, we if you do have a class here, like, join it. To learn how to cast uh, at least yeah. so I can so, learn how to counter, because obviously, if I don't, even if I don't use magic, magic will probably use on me on the battlefield, sir. Uh, yeah, it is definitely something interesting to learn. Even if you can't even do it yourself, it's sort of point you need to understand how your enemy is. So the more you can learn, the more you can fight it. Who's, who says you can? Thank you, sir. Yeah. You do need help. Uh, the NARA organization. Uh, no, I just have a million questions that I want to ask you all at once. Ah, I see. Try to get them categorized in, a, in certain categories and genres. Something that we can pick through together so we can efficiently break them down. But what is your most pressing one? I don't know. I know what the seal looks like. Uh, what you did, did you that, that shield, what was it based on? on a badge and tell you Abjuration. Basically, it is a concept of expelling your magic in multiple waves and layering them at a time. There are some that where basically you have a funnel of magic that comes around that is sustained. And one of the lessons I've been trying to teach is basically conservation. So at that point, when you try to project yourself in sort of a shield, you must basically have it to where each magic is a layer. Whenever you make one, you've already expended that magic. You've already created it, and the remnants will stay. But at its peak, it begins to disintegrate until you imbue, imbue more magic into it. So think of it as this. Think of it as a, a wall of water. You've seen a waterfall, correct? Right. Imagine that. Imagine the waterfall constantly yeah, going down. Professor, if you stop to, uh, the water flow, it's no longer sustained. So, but have you ever noticed, say have for example, write. you're taking a bath or pouring down Test water, that you can mind. rapidly stop the flow? That's what I do, and efficiently cover my area in multiple layers to do it efficiently. Oh. Think of that concept. I think you have little to, uh, and too little take any books that you have, especially books of battle, battle, and see how they efficiently use their magic in battle. You have to learn from the map. Well, I'm sure they'll be more efficient. Can you, do you know anything about um, you magic focuses? Oh, yes, right. One question at a time. I haven't even slept here yet. <laughs> Done. Write down your it's questions and filter out which ones are most important. Done. That's your homework. Yeah. Now, Shizuko, I know, can handle it on her own. Done. She's strong. Thank you. No problem. Here they are. What's your name again? Lorne Bonds. Lorne Bonds. Oh, nope. I'm Lila. Nice to meet you, Lila. I hope to be best of friends. Actually, I'm hoping to see you there.
I have I don't care. Okay. Eric, I gotta go. Mike, you some questions. Bye. Goodbye. I'm a sheep, and then you have to wait. You know how your blood makes this. more blood? Mm. Mm -hmm. What the hell of it sick is that? <laughs> I'm a big fucking gun. Oh, I mean, say that thing. something like that. It's called an MAC rifle. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, careful, it's, it's expensive. It's, it's about to say, it looks expensive. There's gems on these. Hell of it's sake. This is a murder weapon. This is. I don't know what convention format this would file against. And... Oh, uh, <laughs> oh. Let's uh, see how it works. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I like it. Where can I get one? Uh, as soon as Eos decides to pump out a couple of more. It takes a lot of charge up. I think it's actually safe to swing around, technically. I like it. How's your shoulder after that? Nah, they gave me a good kick, but nothing a Davin says it can't fix. Fair enough. Fair point. Well, yeah, I know. I, we shot it the, uh, a couple months ago. Do you understand the concept of that weapon? I do. That's why I could probably never use it. Ah, uh, well. There's a lot of intricacies with it, it seems. But at that point, do you understand the concept of the wand? Hmm. Explain it to me. I want to hear your perspective. What I assume, but I am not going to say that I know, because I don't. But, I'm, but I'm not looking for a right does. answer. I'm looking for your theories. That's what I'm sharing. Give me a chance. I'm giving it to you. Yes, I think that what it does is it is like a cone. Mm -hmm. Right? And you take your mana or whatnot and you push it through. Mm -hmm. And then there is a lack. It comes out in the shape of the end of the hole. Mm -hmm. Where's your sword? Where's the sword that you... Mm -hmm. You understand the force the sword. behind what sword? it, though. You understand no, how water mm -hmm. pressure mm -hmm. might work? Right there, Mr. Rider. Sword requires a large So, I don't why you, you understand that, that just... you can do a big blast... Or a small blast, depending how hard, so happy. depending how hard the water goes through. Okay. Mm. okay. Yeah. And you must realize the funnel or the cone that is attached to your <laughs> source of water <laughs> is all your mana, and your mana is constantly being replenished. Depending, it goes very, replenishes very fast, very low, and the world is a vast ocean, but it is untamed. So and you're trying your best to learn how to harness it. Shot locked and ready. Does that work with your okay, theory? Mm. Or, uh, okay, I'll fill it up again, I guess. Mm. Well, I will have to test them. Yeah, really test them here wow. all you want. Well, the thing really is, I do not wish for you or see any of you get hurt during a mission to where basically your man is a police and there's no more to go through the cone. But at that point, you must rely on alternative means to protect yourself. Go away, I apologize. Oh no, I'm just listening. Yeah, because I was just thinking about how... You mentioned earlier that we are all like gods among men, but that weapon is almost basically makes your average man be able to do what we can. That is true. You see, it removes all the ability, it removes all the skill from it. You see, there are many people who refer, refer to themselves as gods and been taken down by men. Three times. But man is the most feared thing in this in this world, well, from what I've seen. I usually have to stop after the first. Yeah. True, yeah, but now any man could just wield that. Like you could have bandits if someone were to get that. Sure, they would probably pass out because they don't actually have a mana capacity, but they would be able to shoot it maybe once. That's a little scary to think about because we already have to deal with so many supernatural things in the world. I'd hate to have to deal with other people. No, that is true. It might even be. Well, that, and even be organization of the world looking to utilize it to kind of put beings like us more down on a bit of a pig.
So it is a good observation. Well, it is something you should must always look out for. Because yeah. depending on our attitudes and how we deal with the common folk. Confidence, arrogance coming to you right now. <laughs> Sorry, had a bit of a flim. So we must deal with the common folk at that point with kindness and compassion. Because if a group of people one is gone, I'll make sure that. <laughs> They're really bad at that. We'll, we hope we can get better at that too. Joko's secret method. People visit yeah. the camp and they're like, get it? the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? <laughs> you talk to them in the city and they just want to... Well, the are they enjoying it? Come on, man. <laughs> yes, I've right. never had a scene that's so excited in a while. Yeah, everyone loves blowing things up. I'm just hoping they learn the concept. Honestly, I would love to learn how to use wands. You have rather a lot of chance. You have the capacity to magic? Mm -hmm. And come with me. Okay. Grab yourself one. I'm not telling you my shoe size. Why would you ask that question? <laughs> Yeah, studies. People with bigger oh, shoe sizes can, can do a bigger oh, blast of magic. Oh, no. I read it in a book once. Exactly. <gasps> but I have exactly. little feet. <laughs> oh, look, look, okay, it's, it's size for Especially you have a big oh, nose oh, and big oh, hands. Oh, what? Really? Yeah, what if I, I usually if I wait a couple weeks before I shoot on magic, it's bigger. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. <laughs> you, you're already settled. Don't look that big. How did you measure that? Don't worry about it. Come with me. Right, it was the angle. Okay. Your hand size helps your wand skills? No, I'm bullshitting, by the way. So, at this point... Oh. Would you like to... At this point, what I need you to do... You firmly grab some wand and channel your magic. I assume you know what to do. Point it at the target and play Roar M. Roar M? Roar M. close. Okay. Oh, Lauren. Their shoe size. Oh. Uh, all these huh? paintings to my doorstep. <laughs> you but you understand the concept oh. for this, I imagine. Yeah. So I guess the main thing is learning how to aim it, huh? Oh my goodness. There are different spells you can change for your own individual oh. needs. So at this point, is a low-powered magic missile does have some weight onto it to slow it down a little bit, which means it does a little bit of an arc. But at that point, it is to uh, it is basically to the point of learning basically how to efficiently use your magic in different ways. You can do a blast, which is very slow, very powerful, very quick, and very accurate. It's all sorts of things you can do. Mm-hmm. This will be useful for me to learn because a lot of my abilities are deadly and I try not to use them around the students too often. You can use basically for enchantment and things of the like, you can basically turn majority of items depending on their quality and what they're made of to basically do nearly anything you want. You must learn the right in incantations yeah. for them and enchantments to make sure they can serve your needs. But you also have to think of the power soul. This is a, just a simple enchantment. It goes from either your, your soul or from the natural bits of the grass. But yeah. other items... I also plan to learn more about this. Even your clothes, your lantern, everything else can basically be enchanted mm -hmm. in a way. So they can do different needs. Yeah, but my... <laughs> I actually use my lantern too. I, I enchant candles to do what I want them to do. <laughs> All right, so with that, be sure to throw it away into the crate so that it's better stored. Mm -hmm. Let me see what the Thank ruckus you. is here. Aye, it's the concept of gathering the magic and focusing it efficiently. And the more you can learn that, the better you can even control your magic. And then use it more often to defend yourself and your friends. I understand if you no longer can. Hey, that'll be useful to know. Yeah, I'm gonna sort these. I'm gonna have to get my hand. You have no idea how much. Yeah, so I could try everyone how to make it. Oh, okay. What's all the ruckus? I'm sure he does. Be careful. Um, oh, this is perfect. Miss Bliss, are you ready to see his You were describing how this that gun works time. earlier. And then he described okay. it as like water, like water pressure. I've right. seen it before. So like, if I were to shoot my water gun like this, and you were to you show me how to it, shoot a wand, make the sure. smaller, would it increase let's, the water uh, pressure? Let's uh, let's teach, let's teach a student real quick. Mm -hmm. Then we'll teach you a wand. Oh, there we go. Oh, how bad's the kick up? Oh wait, you're holding. You're, you're, you're Are you getting it? <laughs> <laughs> we're practicing the thing you said. Like if you 
if I shoot it and then like the water, she, you know, mm. she pressurizes it and then it it was yeah, shooting. Come with me. Come with me and grab a wand. All of you grab a wand. And, uh, uh, thank you for helping. Like <laughs> grab a wand. You want to practice? Let me know. No. Yeah. Don't mind. All right. Uh, what's uh, going on? Another wand. Yes. All right. You having a good time there? Talking about firmly grasping it and pressurizing? It's great. Yeah. Yep. Now come with me. Come with me. I got it. Bang. That's a good shot. Got it. Let's grab the group so I don't have to repeat myself. Missus! Speechless. Missus, with your wand out this way. Did you make this yourself? Mm, no, not me. The uh, credit for the original model goes to my old lieutenant commander. I know. So, still you understood the concept, the right? Model, uh, basically, ship. water pressure yeah, and all that. Yes. The first, uh, you and first off, produced you can go ahead and grasp your wand. Grand if there aren't too many of them, they're uh, excessively oh, expensive. Oh, oh, no, uh, no, no you will magic cast them, uh, Optimize it more, reduce the kick, <sighs> make it less expensive. Very create, small amounts of magic. Very small mandible. I should have pointed like a walking fuck him up. <laughs> well, yeah, it's to the course. point where you, you don't need to worry about your matter. You can call yeah, upon the matter anyone. basically in nature yeah, itself. The earth beneath to. you, well, the ley lines. Maybe Carver could fill you up with some. He seems to have plenty. <laughs> that <laughs> That's disgusting. So now, further on, point your wand. Point your point your wand towards the target. The power output. Channel the magic that is within you through the ley lines of your arm and say, Lauren. Quite the powerful shot. I'll definitely Thank you for this opportunity and thank you for holding me while I shot it. You seem like you're naturally good. for you. Not for you, son. It's to the point of. Let me know if you need me to. Now drop your wand and point out your hand. At any time. Right. Understand yes. the concept that you had, basically, like, with the wand. You, you understood that the mana <laughs> um, basically I'm gathers like, into your chest, one, trails up, mm -hmm. builds up pressure along <laughs> the way, right. gains Can speed, and fires forward into your target. You may not get in the first round, don't worry. It depends on your stamina. You understand the projectile, right? I'm actually quite... Yes, show off my but it take, I think after it's the form, I think. I'm ready to fire again. Right, take it in go. with practice. Of course, he always yeah. is. I'm gonna keep practicing. I gotta get there eventually. It's a very good way to Just come here every so often when you're free and give it a shot. Well, you now understand the concept, like I hope. <laughs> yeah, if I were to... <laughs> I didn't expect her someone to tell me I'm check, check my pockets real quick here. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, your pockets. Um, yeah, yeah, so... Because I can do... Lightning bolt just fine. Yes. That's good. You know, you're seeing... I'm really happy I'm actually having really good aim in my eyes. I've just been yes. focusing it. Be careful, you're making the grass under us die a little bit more. You know, I haven't sang in quite a while. Oh, maybe she, it was a little too low for... A different angle when it's hitting this wall for him. I don't know. That's all I can oh, think of. For me, it's going over and hitting the. Oh no, she's time. hitting her target correctly. I'm just saying you're using too much of the man of the grass, and I would hate for that bit of nature to die. When you, whenever you target, basically the source of your magic, always try your best to try to get a sense of basically what's around you. So it's to the point where basically you can feel basically the world that's around you. You understand that there's grass and plant life here, but you also understand that further and further down, there's even greater sources of magic beneath it. So try to see if you can pull from there. It takes a little bit of practice, but pulling from the world around you, straight in through your body, and then I think it would be nice to, to target practice with no boots on. Give it a shot. Oh. Yeah, but it's, when, it's what, what you could do to the world around you, though, it sounds scary. Uh, yeah. Does having like an Earth affinity help with that sort of casting? It definitely would. uses the Earth to cast. It'll help me be far more efficient. But if you think of the water that might be underground, think of streams and everything that might go underneath, and then try your water vault there. I've tried rooks load. I've tried rooks load. There are element, different elements all around us. You just have to learn where to find it. 
I'm sorry, I'll leave you two to it. Practice as long as you can. Thank you. And when you're done, put the wands away. We don't want it to be dirty. I was happy with how long I could shoot and my aim, so I'll put it down for now. Excellent. There's a crate over to the corner. You can put it there for me. Excuse me? The fuck? Oh my goodness. <laughs> the fuck did I hear? The fuck did I hear? They're talking about what happened. I missed. Oh, sorry. She's a goose. Right, well, I understand what I signed up for. Oh, my goodness. Jeez. You pretend like there's a wand. By whatever god that exists. I was putting my energy into him to make it stronger. And then you did some loads or something. Now I question everything. You know, aren't you an instructor? I don't, do you not know about the magical properties of the load? Yeah. We but named our one Goopy and we're, we're, we're passing that around. With your gun. Demonstrate my load. I've already demonstrated the load to the gun. Are you talking about, like, the load? He's like the Giga Thrust. Whoa. Oh, he's already said gun. I was thinking he's saying Giga Thrust. You kids in your terms. <laughs> Huh? If you are trying to measure the amount of giga thrust that comes out of your load, what would it be? Or is it a load for a giga thrust? The answer is seven. All right. Mm. Seven. Exactly. Let me just write that's down a X to Dutch. What did I what? sign up no, for? No, no, that's a lot. Of, don't don't lot. forget to classify it correctly. Lisa was in major it's, in it's loads per giga thrust. Well, this has been an interesting uh, assignment. Uh, I, it, de I, it depends on the Welcome size of the floor. Like, oh, you can get excited then. <laughs> yeah, we're going to load figure this out. Load varies based on uh, thrust strength. So does anyone want to... Since we're supposed to use gr have groups, does anyone want to go like pick uh, water breathing things? Mm -hmm. Oh, the, we still have to give you, uh, the professor, uh, yeah, something the new ingredients. Uh, we need to go to the grounds. True. Yes, I seem the, the other uh, students abandoned yeah. me. Yeah. If anyone wants to join me, I need a oh, partner. Oh, we're here. Very good. Oh, oh, we won't abandon you. Relatively soon, so we'll be doing much more things. Oh, oh, my hero. It is so good. Oh, thank you so much. Me and my beauty must constantly be protected for the dragons that possibly patrol this land. I feel bad his robe would be weighed down. Weighed down. I don't know. No, lead me nice and shining armor to the vast safety of your world. Someone can give him a... Oh, I want to see if she's easy one and see when she's not distracted. <laughs> no, that's fine. I'll go check. I shall be. lead the party to, with my brave knights to go to okay, the damsel. I'm uh, curious. I. What if you'll see you uh, over in the Coliseum? I'm unsure. Say what? What if you'll see you over in the uh, Coliseum? Sure everything's cleaned up sure. around here. Oh, there's a wound. Whatever that means. <laughs> we'll make a we can tour. Well, we can tour there first while you guys have your chat. Shall we yeah. go protect the damsel, Shizuko? Like an angel has I suppose. From heaven, directly to... <laughs> Please, someone yes, clean up. For, uh, obviously, this is the uh, rifle range, of course, but the Coliseum, where uh, yeah, careful, when I'm an old man. Are, uh, sorry. When duels are <clears throat> duels and spars are enacted, the uh, Coliseum over here is where the students will be handling those. And during a lot of the combat instruction, if of course they're not doing the uh, okay. artillery range or the rifle range, artillery, goodness, I do want to bring artillery. a big berth over at one point. That would be fun. Well, depending on how much um, you evoke, you can basically become a one-man artillery machine. It's very effective. Oh. Uh, this is very true. Okay. So, mm -hmm. hear me out. We take a bunch of guns, charge them with mana, strap them to the walking tank, madame, and boom. He literally just picked the dust up and ran off with her. Drop him to, what? Oh, that's very pretty. Mm. So this is where we have a combat instruction, physical exercise, and the like. A lot of students tend to, uh, they like to spend their morning here doing a bit of training. Nice. Professor nice. Albrecht, greetings. Professor, it's good to see you, madame. Nice see you. Mm. I was indeed uh, curious as to the different kinds of magics that you yourself are able to use. Nah, it's just... There's a... It gets to the point to where the list kind of goes fairly long, but it's also to the point of you want to stick with a simple repertoire. 
I assume you're wanting a demonstration. I would love to see one, yes. And very well then. All right. Here, let me look inside my bag real quick and remember my. Do you need a moving target? Yeah, uh, I would like to not shoot someone unless you have a nice apparatus. Well, this is a sight to behold. Good morning. <laughs> oh, you wanted me That's to shoot surprise. you. Nah, I, I I'm sort of, saying if you want to, but I just, I'm sure you'd like to uh, simply demonstrate on your own without the target. I'll leave you alone then. I'll and it is, okay? like, I feel very, I feel very nervous hitting a fellow teacher, but yes. I they can hit him, he has his barrier up, he's very strong. Are we gonna go pick water breathing? Uh, very well. They don't have me as the combat instructor for no reason. Oh, why that? Yeah, but we need to go and go. There's the one who's scared of fire here. here. Physical attack. Oh. No, she's no, not. They are not. Be the Actually, one. She's not present. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's it's a simple, there. but um, conservation is there. key. Go forth, I'll miss a bunch. I, don't, I, like I am old. Very good. And well, you can go, so whoop. But that's probably scary. Catch the fireballs! Uh, whoop! <laughs> Catch them, boy! <laughs> huh? I ah, got him on that one. He's saying. Alright, let's see how he's good with it. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Is it just? Alright, you nice. might not be able to pass it. I feel like I'm playing football in a ways. Exactly. Give it and a punch. Want to see my, want to see my big gun. As hard sure. as you can. <laughs> it's hard. I don't know if you want it. as hard as I can. As hard as you can. As hard as. Hmm. For my own health, right now, I don't feel I should do as well, hard as I can. Well, you take moderate and go for it. Ah, uh, faith in you? Why not? I never said. Very nice. Excellent Very job! Effective. I love the application! Yeah, oh. <laughs> love the application. I definitely love the point where basically you had basically the center target. It was very much pointed in. Very efficient. Excellent job. I don't know who taught you on that one. It was very excellent. You got to the point. Very impressed with it. I haven't seen that one in quite a while. It'd be amazing to see how it does quite basically a on a wider scale. And to the point, it's like, remember there was years of... Never mind that. So at that point, let's go ahead and get back here. Mm -hmm. It's to the point... Oh, uh Yes. Can you tell us she's the co thinks that your barrier is made of pee? Ah, well, she'll deal with it. <laughs> Look, she's not the. I mean, I've, I've gotten that one before. I've gotten the. Yeah. Is she barrier jealous? In yellow, apparently. Yes, you look like you're having a. Never mind. Hey, I'd rather have an accident than be dead. That's, That's true. Mm. I respect that. I did see you, uh, you had the, uh, it was lightning, I believe. We have that? another student who has, uh, yeah, we have another student who has, a uh, lightning-based magic. I can make it tickle. Well. Look, Still learning how it to won't hurt at all, that. see? Just, it's like a little acupuncture in a way, just. Can you, can you give me acupuncture in my back? It's killing me. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's actual acupuncture. <laughs> Oh so it's, 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 so it is conservation, no. conservation, oh, spasming no. of yeah. the muscles. Oh. It's very interesting to see how diverse your magic is. I tend to only use one form of magic, but I try to make, uh, I try to be as um, adaptive and diverse with it as possible. It's force magic yes. in a way. You see the point Pretty where you much. go? Force magic akin with... Uh, Astral projection is one of the other ways in the other right. strip just pointed out, so I may be able to do something with spirits. I have to explore more with that, but using my force magic, I found ways to uh, create that barrier for myself, be able to call in uh, large invisible strikes from up high, amplify my own personal strength and strikes, as well as um, 
pretty much manipulate it from wherever I want. I blow shit including up. Including using it to... Yep, yeah, same, same, I same. You would, you would... I... Yeah, that too. And I yell at people. Where's he? Now he's, he's going where, to go demonstrate. He, he's demonstrating. Oh, oh, oh. It comes from his crutch. It's awkward. It is very awkward. Don't tell him. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I should like to take you out to the mountain sometime. Hi. It's usually where I tend to do my training. All right, I need do it. to okay. actually. I'll sync up with you shortly. I need to, uh... God, for I have some to... Issues with mm -hmm. her, um... There we go. I have to sync up with, uh, some of the other students. They're having a meeting. There, well, best of luck. I'll be around the grounds. Look, Carver! I'll be back shortly. Oh, very Don't run into it. Don't run into it. I don't want to smell you bad. Know. I don't want to smell bad. They were like, I'll be fine soon. I have to meet with Vanguard. Yeah, well, take it easy. Well, stay short. behind me. Cause... <clears throat> oh, wow. Ooh. This is what I use to detect if there's evil nearby. Oh. I'm gonna back away slowly. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> stay, stay behind me. Because ah, it's good to see you <laughs> again. How did you? I didn't see the rest of your squad. Ooh. Or yeah, it would seem that a lot of them don't exactly want to uh, be present and accounted for. Uh, but uh, there's a pretty as it is. I don't think we should get hit by pink gemstone that. by the name of Arbor. Then there's Mason, a human from um, United Sanctuary, and uh... oh, so it's a chromatic. It's like is it chromatic gas? Or chromatic orb. I'm not sure. Do you? I hope to meet them fairly. I wouldn't. Sure. There's spells that represent the oh, me too. referred to as chromatic. Yeah, this is called prismatic spray. Oh, prismatic. Ooh. Okay. That's it's based on light. Very Ooh. pretty. Yeah, mm. it's, you wouldn't want it to touch you, though. <laughs> I want to be cool. All I got is fire from my fucking hands. Yeah, you're already <laughs> cool, dear. Don't worry oh, about it. Back. Hello? 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 I set myself what? on fire, excuse me. Yeah, but you can do it all over your booty. I just have, I just you, fucking you my tail hand. too. You have your, you have your feet <laughs> and your tail. This is my defense. Do I have to, do I, literally, do I have to show you again? Do I have to train what? you? What in the world? Just sit there? Well, maybe, um, Shizu, maybe you can practice when I'm practicing water bolt. You can practice shooting firebolt or something. Or Sorry, Jeff, I'm not talking to you for a while. Fire or... A lot of, a lot of talking. I gotta zoom more. Showing all of our abilities I mean, all the time. You've seen me trying to cast water boulder. I think Haven, uh, the fellow carver oh, or whatever, hey. wanted to uh, one of the figure things don't, out. Don't br don't breathe her in. It's it's really awkward. Please do not mm. breathe her in. We do not need. <laughs> oh. Well, you... Oh God. Can't bleed all. Is that? Is that... Is this I lead a horse to water. Or the good. Is, 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 is this is a disciplinary is action. That's mm. what we call uh, the good bliss. Do, do you need water, dear? <laughs> you good? Mm. You good? No. You right? Oh, more than water. oh, Jesus Christ. That's, uh... <laughs> <You good? laughs> Sounds like she needs to exercise some of her inner demons. <laughs> Yeah, please, like, don't turn into a My demon. My gas form can make it where I don't bubble. take any physical abilities during attacks, but it doesn't defend against magic, really. I... Yeah, yeah, there, there's a downside to everything. It's like rock, paper, scissors, but much more complicated. Uh, yeah. At least how I look at magic. I've never had anyone try to breathe me in before. Oh, well, God. that's interesting. I'm going to go out this gate. <laughs> Let's uh, continue uh, on with your tour. Yeah, that Come seems like a great idea. So, the blue will get you here. Aye. So you got the stadium, and then you have your shooting range. Aye. And then blue is also one of the quickest ways to the infirmary here. Aye. 
Probably what she needs. Do you need the infirmary? I'm doing a okay. I'm sure Miss Bliss would uh would send her there. If she was in real danger. Danger. Who, yeah, who, what? I missed the context, sir. No one's in danger. Okay. If someone was okay, in just danger, just making sure because this, yeah. this is this is our academy. Every day, someone's almost dead. And it's weird. Mm-hmm. Like yesterday, they went out to trim some bushes, well, and a fucking demon a, attacked him. Or that's something. a strange oh, statement. You'll understand it. My brave knight Shizuko, shall you accompany me and the damsel to the infirmary on our next, uh... Oh, you're stop. giving a tour, um, okay. I had told the Rex we would go swimming in to get more Pisces plant. Oh, that's a really good idea. Yeah, we gotta yeah, go with the buddy means. system, so... Uh, at mm -hmm. least the two of us are going. We could try to find others first before no, we depart. Let's take with this young lad and... It's fine, but don't worry. I think I am well protected by Denzel. this Damsel! Don't worry, Damsel! There is far too many evils in this world for just one amazing fox to handle. She can do you better. No, not worry. This damsel should await your valiant return after your amazing mission. Oh, my knight! Go to the fucking water and go get your shit. <laughs> Do we want to grab any weapons in case or nah? Just go in with what I we don't got. Know. Well, Bring I don't a wand! Know, please. Oh, yeah, we'll tickle them a little bit. Ones, maybe. <laughs> and some rope. Can never go on an adventure without a rope. After you. The potion that they use sinks them down to the ground, so they're not able to really swim up. So if they fall into anywhere deep... That, that is a horrible lack of hindsight. <laughs> That's why they have rope. I see. Uh, uh, yes. But as we continue on... Not to interrupt, madame. Mm -hmm. Do you know where I could find Captain Silver? Uh, Captain Silver was going to be on campus for another 10 minutes about 25 minutes ago, and then they were heading out. I would do the teacher power to see if they're still on campus or if they've departed. I shall. Please excuse me. Hi. Right. Oh! Hello. Did I make it? You did. You did. Well, Excellent. I mean, yeah, I didn't Excellent. Think it was a good exercise, but you eat, right? I don't know, man. It was. I mean, I hope I do. Very loud, fresh. It makes it look like you enjoy your food. <laughs> aye, aye. We bought a crocodile and eel. Is that the you? You? I mean, I've... all of me. Well, it. well, let's see what's for dinner. Don't bother making oh, me oh, <laughs> that beer? Did you that beer? I heard a man be so excited for food. Please, sir, sit down. We can serve you. Oh, well, I mean, I can help myself. It's fine. No, let us serve you. I want to give you. What would you like to eat? Uh, meat and beer. Yesterday, so. yeah. Is bear stew good? Bear stew? Bear stew. Yeah. Oh, that's good with me. Uh, where would I sit? I don't think I was assigned to... Uh, I guess I should do that. Then. Thank you. This is strawberry, right? This isn't like something chocolate related. Oh, the new one. Are these assigned seats? Yesterday? No. <laughs> Make sure you're careful about the enchanted carpet. <laughs> uh, the carpet is enchanted. Aye, 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 aye. I did the same thank thing, you. don't worry. I thought I was off it, my bad. Can I get you anything else, or are you all good? It's easy no, to forget. We're good, thank you, Stark. Enjoy I'm your food. But no, you can sit wherever oh, you like. Do, oh, my. do you need a guest? The company? Thank you There's so your, much. uh, normal portion of bear stew. Ah, thank Enjoy. you, thank you. Oh, oh, nope, I guess we're gonna put that there then. Let me, uh, let me pull up a more comfortable chair. 
They might the, be you want to somewhere know? around this direction. No, I just needed to evaluate your package. Oh, you're going to evaluate my package whenever you want. Have you had a good first time? That's gross! Yeah, so far. Can I help you? So far, it's been a wonderful you know, day. Ah, there we go. I don't look goofy, do I? <laughs> no, you're fine. I just, I would hate to look goofy on the first day. This is, they left the whole pawn here. That's a very... Yeah, they, they don't skimp out on dinner. I see. I'm happy that you eat, because Professor Albrecht never eats, ever. I don't think I've ever seen him once eat. So it's good? No, oh, I'm... <laughs> I'm sure he eats. I, I open. Yeah, he just never does eat. Listen, he wants some eels. Listen, I open with I'm proud of you, and she had a problem with it. So what is your? Um, you you lied. Mm. What is your thought about the campus so far? Undefended. Uh, that's what I think about it. Yeah. Do you like it, uh, yeah. it lacks defenses. She figured it, figured it out. Do my tour right. with um with the nice secretary. You know, forgive me if I don't remember names yet. That um. Madame Minerva. Yes. The um. Well, you're doing it right now, so you're. I know that the the count the, the, the grounds are structured well enough. For say, for example, if the shield would fail and then people would come rushing through. <laughs> This place must not mm -hmm. fall. Sure, the people here can oh Rex, move somewhere else, something. protected and everything yeah, else, but if it gets to the point to where this place does come under siege, What's your middle name? you don't want to lose this place. Asmodeus. So it comes to the point of <laughs> seeing lack of defenses. What's outside the grounds? Are there troops there? Are there certain magical sentries around to tell you who is coming? That if it's to the point where if someone intends to come here, we should know about it. And I see that we have a lack of that knowledge here so all right that is to the point of yeah, that usually... me, i'm checking my pockets as i listen to you mm -hmm. yeah sure okay. yeah usually the you just call me a fucking puppy one more time please well well, well as long as she's comfortable down. down i just do you tired after all that singing <laughs> Yeah, I'm a great singer. Oh yes, with a, with a voice such as that, I don't see how you. Ben, you're fine. Yes, are you fine? Are you fine? I mean, that that projection. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, well. Bless, are you okay? I I think she's very interested in the texture. It must have reminded her of a rune. Excuse me, what was your name again? Look, wait, I would uh, Lila. Lila, nice to meet you, Lila. Do you mind you standing over here? So, my left ear is a bit deaf. Okay. Okay. Oh, Lila. Sorry. Uh, now it's fine, it's fine. Okay. I, I think you had questions, did you? Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. Does that not sound like fun? Well, it's not a question so much as bad. I have an extensive list of questions. Day, but that's mm -hmm. And, uh, what is your aim once you figure it all out? I'm just repeating things. Rex, we are. To be able to protect my squad better. Yeah, I know. That's I'm true. Really How are you enjoying your ball? Have you thought past that? <laughs> the, the gravy's lost. amazing, dude. There may be a time where this doesn't exist anymore. And you might need to prepare yourself for that. Unfortunately, but I'm sure I'll adjust. Sure, you're used to something. See, I've been around places for quite a long time. I've seen lords rise up, gather up an army of 10,000 men, watch the boy grow, and watch all that crumble. And you have to prepare yourself mentally when this doesn't exist. Take a good spoon for the gravy. Don't right. Well, I just mostly want to get through it. Oh, and I want my squad mates to get through it, too. The I believe that would have been the funniest fucking Especially with how much you life. care. Seeing how much someone cares about other she people is a refreshing sight. <laughs> the forbidden word. Is that not common? Alright. Well, at that point... Have you ate yet? Do that one more time for me. Not yet. Oh, I was gonna I get some. Ah, oh, go uh, get. Oopsies. No, nah, it's fine. <laughs> I'm a go clumsy <laughs> man. <laughs> go get wait, something. Come, say? come sit by and ask questions if you need, or go join no, your you friends. Whichever's fine you. with me. So, yeah, about mm. burritos <laughs> named for Bonacon cheese. <laughs> Is there okay. something wrong? You never saw them before. Yep. They make me eat fucking bear chat. 
they fucking knew. <sighs> So, you know, don't go naming things these. All right. Have you been enjoying it so far, sir? Toes. Yeah. Enjoying what exactly, Professor? This, for the most part, and that particular drink. Why not? Ah, yes. It's not terrible. I'm surprised they have bear. You okay? You sound like... Oh, the students did hunt a couple recently. They hunted them? Hmm. Yes. Heaven. No. Yes. Just, they were oddly aggressive, and I don't know why. Aggressive? How aggressive? <laughs> well, I wasn't there, Professor. I wouldn't want to lead you on or give you misinformation. Are you gonna kill us all? Can you kill me first? Only know what I heard. Thank you. I will rip your neck open and drink your blood and watch you suffer. Think I'll try a different dish another time. For the whole family. <laughs> what do you say? Sorry. What well, brought you to this place, sir? Oh. Well, I had heard that the academy was one of the best places around for this sort of thing, and that they had some very prestigious teachers and students pass through. I so I figured I'd throw my hat into the ring, lo and behold. On and on. Have you seen a ravenous rabbit before? Have you seen a rambunctious bunch? I was told they were yes. not of nobles and not soldiers. Get this empty one. A lot of them are from the nobility, but a lot of them also are. If you're waiting for I'm not used to being told no. Spawns, I don't have one. Yeah, I, I have not been able to experience that yet, but that is a concern of mine. It is to the point of yes, my question might be odd. Has anyone been here to teach them normal military discipline? Professor Steele and Professor Carver usually handle that aspect of things. How successful do you think they've been? All right. Considering how I've heard it was the first year, they must have been very successful. That's good. I really, um... I apologize if that question was rude. It was to the point of... No, no, no. I understand. It is a professional necessity. Especially if you're going to be helping train officers. Food. Aye, and it's to the point of... And eating it. Preparing them. I don't know. At this point. <laughs> A lot of them came to dinner that I miss most of it. Today's dinner was weird. Uh, Not a lot showed up. Yeah, it was very quiet. Apparently there's some students in the infirmary or something. Yeah, we were able to see a couple of them there. Um, not sure for what, but... Oh, you know welcome why? back. I, I, I hope, every, <laughs> hope everything was fine. Is there anything up here I can clean? Yeah, I'm feeling a little dizzy. Oh, uh, yes, your voice everything. seems to be more siren-y than yeah. usual. Okay. Sorry, am I okay? Ah, you sound as beautiful as the first day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's one thing I do with uh, my enchanting. I'm not hitting on it. I usually sing my spells. Yeah, I've uh, I was questioning um, Albrecht, was it? Professor Albrecht, I believe that mm -hmm. was. I think he is now left. Uh, yeah, yeah he ran he off. Was. He does that. He, 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 it's hard to find him and pin him down. He's, like to he me, turns invisible quite often. I'm adjusting my Velcro hat. One moment. There we go. So, mm -hmm. question. where did the bears come from? Oh, they actually went on a hunting trip. The students did. With Vargas, who's this dwarf. Mm -hmm. It's on campus sometime. Mm -hmm. Uh, they went and killed a bunch of bears and brought uh, back the, I see. the meat. I see. Mm-hmm. They're very resourceful here. Anything they kill, they uh, use. Yes. Um, were they... Were they kind to the bears, at least? Did they kill them humanely? I think so. I think they killed them quickly. Okay. The hunters around here... There's half beasts and also you know lichens and they they hunt. So if, if I may ask you, I a, assume they went for the third. 
something of a, of a professional level. Uh, what are your opinions of this school? Well, I'm still trying to get my bearings with everything. There's a lot of things that I'm still uncertain about. Like, what just happened just now? Um, there's another professor you didn't meet today. The only one, actually, you didn't meet. His name is Professor Steele. Mm-hmm. And he's pretty ruthless, to be honest. When he trains the students, he will literally shoot them with guns. He doesn't hold back on them much. Well, and... I've met generals who whip soldiers and don't follow commands, but... Yeah. I was That's told... never really been my style. I, I was told I'm that to. these students were mostly that of... Um... Mostly that of nobles. And they have no military training um, at all, as if they shipped off teenagers to become a super force. Yeah, they. this is a military academy for the most part, so I understand where they're coming from. Uh, <laughs> Hello! Hello! Pleasure to meet you. Mm. Nice to meet you. How was your day? Oh, it's good so far, and I've been served bad, and the beer here is particularly delightful. So far, I've been enjoying yeah. myself. It's felt like a nice, you know, very warm... Have you, know, you tried welcome. the alligator balls? That's a very interesting statement to say or question to ask me, but who's <laughs> one not to try things when you're in a school? They're good. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they're actually the testicles. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I think they're just... That <laughs> is the question, isn't it? And they seem to be enchanted. Yeah. Oh, you saw them all. Excellent. Yes, yeah, so I've been a uh, very, joke. I've been very experienced in eating balls. Oh, you are. Yes, yes. Indeed. I'm not. I like I, you learn many I'm things just, on your travels. Hot sauce. Your hot sauce. Very mm-hmm. impressive. I'm a hellhound. Ah, forgive my assum- forgive mm-hmm. my wrongful assumptions. <laughs> you think I was? I think everyone, everyone is a being in this universe. Just normal, everything else. I've seen different forms of different life that could be basically anything. I've assumed people who look like demons were actually angels in some weird way. So it's to the point that <laughs> I'd like to find out after well, the fact. People did assume that I, since I was from hell, that I would know a lot of things about... Oh, about well. I guess the corrupt things in life. Oh, that's but not a euphemism they... or something, by the way. It's to the point of a literal demon and a literal angel, which basically were the Aarakocrans who basically were on the mountains, and then there was a village. Oh, look, these have magically appeared again. <laughs> and basically, the the village. You really liked them. I must have. They must. Have, someone magic them back up again. I'm quite impressed. So it's to the point of. Um, yeah. You know. It's, there was a time where the, the reference I was making is that there was a, a tribe of Arakakras. Mm-hmm. They're basically bird-like people, and they have, um, the villagers who traded with them believed them to be angels. They never mm-hmm. saw their faces at that point. They would always just see them swoop down, you know, with golden wings or different types of it, and grab the trade items and leave off. They believed them to be angels the yeah. entire time. But little did they know, those, You're right over there. Yeah, those very people... Um, raided the village, and they never knew. Yeah. They thought they saw wings in the night to be of bats. Mm. That was a horrible, that was a horrible day. Yeah, you definitely can't judge people by what they look like, that's for sure. Definitely not. So I apologize. Mm. I apologize if I gave any offense. And I'm Lauren Bonds, by the way. It's nice to meet you. I don't know if you're at the opening ceremony or at the teaching grounds. No, I was. I was there. What was your name one more time? Lorne Barnes. L-O-R-N. Lorne Barnes? Yeah, Lorne. Okay. My name's Lorelai. Uh, It's nice to meet you, Lorelai. Thank you. I'm probably going to forget it multiple times. It takes me a while with names. I'll remember your face for a millennium. But as soon as a name comes by, it just leaves, which has taken me forever (laughs) to memorize books. But I've, I've found a method. And it means cheating with magic. That's good. Oh, that works. I mean, hey, it's, not, it's part of your skill set. So how is okay. the hot sauce? Pretty good. Do you want some? Nah, I think I'll pass. Are you sure? I am quite sure. Uh, I, think, I think you are far 
more efficient with it than I. <laughs> but oh, it's been a. It's been very lovely though to. I would have said here the hall is very lovely though. But I think we are done. Yeah, the campus is beautiful. I I think we are done with food at this point. Uh, is there a disposal unit mm-hmm. somewhere? Yes, there. Uh, I'll take. This is that here. There's the big. Ah, there they are. There they are. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Mhm. You have to be. There's other gold, Lila. I was gonna say. Mhm. The structure here can be a little confusing sometimes. Uh, I, believe, I think I got majority it's of it confusing. down. Yeah, it's a little confusing in what the teachers are expected to do, is what I really mean. It's, it can be, it's been hard for me to get the bearings of what we're allowed to do or not. I <laughs> so it might be a little confusing at first. I believe there would be a rule board down that way to kind of get a basis of things, lest I saw. So I might need that's to do That's usually another. for the students. I, I, that, I might, that's more. I. Well, regardless, even on times when classes are happening or even off, there's always an opportunity to learn. Yeah, let me let's go clean up the yeah, rest of the trash. That's what I think. You know, move by example. Make sure that you're not <laughs> yeah. like that of the urchins in the street. Put up a fine example. Someone yeah. left a donut here. Mm-hmm. Half eaten. Wasteful. Alright, let's see, yeah. I am interested, though, to look at the rest of the place, see what activities normally happen around here. I can show you some more if you haven't seen a lot of everything. Have you seen the waterfall? I have not seen the waterfall. In fact, I haven't seen that either. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I'll ever be using it. But still, yeah, sure. Oh, why not? Hey, come on. Hot Springs is really nice. The professors all relax together sometimes. Remember, I'm an old man. That's fine. I can only go so fast. Yeah, I'm I'm in heels, so I get you. It took me a while to get used to walking in heels. You're everywhere. Really, you're really fucking fast in heels, goddamn. <laughs> How you doing, chat? So far, I've taught one class here, and it is well accepted. The students were. No, did they it go well? And they listened. Yeah, they, they're good students. They have their issues sometimes, but for the most part, they have a lot of faith in them. So what brought you to this academy as we walk? Well, actually, I was sought out because they were having issues with the darkness, and it's been mm. my life's purpose to research it. So. They mean you can still compare notes at some point. Yeah, Wait, how, how do you... Uh, how do you know about the darkness? What have you done That's with what it? I've been doing for most of my life, joining the place to place really? and quelling it where it goes. And that's why I'm here. I haven't met anyone else. It's a, uh, obviously shouldn't have these conversations mm-hmm. out in the open. But let's just say that. Yeah, definitely. Let's just say that if people like us are gone, you know. Headmaster, good to mm-hmm. see you. No, we. Yeah, it's good to see you as well. I'll be uh, I'm in the stadium uh, helping Ryder train. I'll be summoning okay. some fire elementals for him. I was going to show him around the rest of the campus. Oh, uh, I'd actually like to that. observe, actually, if that's fine. Yeah, sure. Yes, yeah, so you'll see uh, that some of our students, uh, while they are on another level, they also unfortunately have other things that they need to learn. Uh, it'd be nice to see how he utilizes his own uh, inner core. Basically. Yes. Headmaster. Can I ask you an important yes. question? Um, I only take uh, non-important questions. But no, oh. continue. I'm just joking. <laughs> Explain why they were talking about loads earlier. I'm just kidding. Um, I want to know <laughs> why <laughs> Professor Steele can shoot students with no issues. The students accept it. They respect it. But then... 
Professor Carver trains them in a, in a manner that can endanger them. And well, there's... because one has considerable experience with everyone's race and their physiology, their physical needs and uh, weaknesses, and he knows precisely how to do it and apply it in a method that can strengthen them. Whereas Carver comes from a human-only institute, so he uh, mm, is having troubles on understanding what a human and get, making them stronger does versus yeah. other races. Uh, he, he, he tries to apply what he knows in the incorrect way most of the time. Apologize to give you more Why haste, do you ask? Ryder is now off to you. I know. Opinion. I need to head there before he gets there. Yeah, let's, let's save yeah. the conversation for another time. the conversation time. as he gets his face beaten in. I, I'm interested to see what he can do. Hello again. Hi, Master. Uh, yeah. Is that right? Hello. Professor Bliss, have you seen Professor Carver? No, dear. No. I... <laughs> Hello again. All right. Hello. I've come to observe. Are you staying for the night? Mm hmm. Picking up a big mass of rock over there that's full of moss. Yes, the love rock. The fuck is that? <laughs> Sorry to be rude, but I don't get it. Okay, is it like dangerous? To go yeah, there's there? no, there's no script. No, well, it is all just off the fucking top of my head. Really hmm. I won't be summoning a named elemental. However, he's already conky about it, so perhaps you could boost him with your fire magic. Uh, yeah, I could definitely do that. Uh, have you summoned it now? I'll be summoning it once I um, put the barrier up. Aye, aye. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. All right, Ryder, please enter the circle whenever you're ready. Thank you, sir. Hmm? Best of luck, son. Before you do anything, I need to let you know what I won't be in the dorms tonight. I will be over there by that big ass. <clears throat> <sighs> Akavir ghosts fire. A fire elemental should be appearing here shortly. It's an unnamed one, but uh, our new teacher here is going to boost it if you give us a moment here. Uh, Ryan, Aye. just give him a moment. Okay. He's not a no one. No, no. He's not a no one. Oh, oh. <sighs> Are you ready for this, son? Once this goes down, you're gonna have to get ready for it. Ready. Ah. The barrier once you. Alright, once the barrier goes up. Ready, headmaster? Yo. I'll get out, don't Are worry. You boost it then. Alright, alright. And. Skedaddle! Come on through. Come on through. <laughs> <laughs> alright. <laughs> They got him off guard. You're fast. I can read your move. Try to fucking kill me, chap. Dog fires are not a value. Play my voodoo. Yeah, chat, hope everything's going all right. Damn it. Let's see how you do if we give it some haste. Okay. Good job. I don't ever hear the music. I don't know how much it adds to it, but. I mean, it's VR LARPing. It's really hard to do. 
Like, there's no, like, combat system in this game yet. People are working on it. <laughs> Concentrate oh, your job, magic! Bob. Concentrate the points where you need it his, most! His fire magic's doing so much damage to this fire elemental, it's yes, surprising. Exactly, I'm surprised it's totally doing not making it stronger or anything. Yeah, yeah, I'm surprised it's... Stop shooting it with fire! Use your magic on the points it's needed most! Enhance your movements at times you need it! Find its weakness, boy! If it's concentrating a water attack, divert its energy! Find another way around! Use the momentum it's causing and get around it! Right! Okay! Wait for it to pick up! Now, boy! Now! If you are victorious, I shall grant you a name. Oh. Let's raise the stakes. No. Name the that, that elemental wants its hmm. name rider. Right, it's not Is that a donut? Down. It's a bagel. A bagel. Wow. Are you sure it's a bagel? Flip it over. It's a bagel. That, not the donut. It's a bagel. I'll keep your secret. Put the cream cheese on top. Uh, I'll. I'll keep your secret safe, don't worry. Yes, that bagel looks delicious with its uh, frosty cream. It's cream cheese. I, I, I put I put the cream cheese on top. I got you. Whatever you say, no. son. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm just going to enjoy my bagel. This is an elemental that's trying to earn its name, Ryder. Mm. Treat it as such. Mm. Been enjoying your time on the campus thus far? Not so far. Watching uh, one of your boys... Learn that mm. the fire yes, spell is a fire elemental. That gets know. bigger with fire. With Stop fire. shooting it with fire! They're healing it! It's just hellfire! It's not supposed to heal! Whatever! I would I would trust what the uh, evocation instructor is telling you, and the headmaster alike. Find its core, boy! Find the core! Research your enemy! Find its weaknesses! Find its source! Bring down the source! Fire, water, or blow on it or something. Just Every <laughs> elemental has a core to sustain itself in the into the material realm. Find it! Hmm. Yeah, you got an extra piece of that? That's a, that's a huge ass bagel. Damn, I see. You, should, you think this is big? You should see the size of the pineapples I have. The cakes. All the food here is very upscale. They have a uh, rather generous funding. I, I see. I should. No, uh, my, my empire backs the cross allied voices. I see. <laughs> I see you're weakening it, boy. Excellent job. You hit near its core. Remember where you slashed. <laughs> He's going, man. I like the music's picked up for it. Understood. Thank you. That uh, lays that concern to rest. Thank you. Are you sure you want that name or not? That elemental looks fairly beaten up. Yes, I think it's about to run out of steam. Its core seems to be cracked, seems to be on edge. A true name for it doesn't seem to be worthy yes, enough. Even as we speak, it's burning itself out. <clears throat> oh, oh no. Oh dear. It's been nice. 
Oh. Well, that does it. Alright. This burst. Alright, it's unfortunate, but it did not earn its name today. <laughs> Excellent job. <sighs> Oh. Did that spice things up for you? You did it. <laughs> now that was an awesome fight. Hell yeah. Yes, that was a basic elemental, wasn't it? I had to read its move. For the most part. Because it was moving around so much, and it was doing the same pattern, I had to read where it was going to go. So I had to use my skill and my eyes. I just told it it's going to earn its name, so it basically burned itself out. Oh, man, I, I saw that. Yeah. And I did it. You tried to earn. I was able to crack the core, mm -hmm. and I got him. Hopefully we can bring a lord in next time and see how a group does. <sighs> yes, well, <laughs> as you know, summoning things with uh, in their own name requires a bit more of a sacrifice, but we might be willing to uh, go to the vault and do such a thing one of these days. You got a crystal for it. <laughs> Sure. Fire, you know what happens when you blow on fire? You think off the I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's like a <laughs> game. Oh, they know that though. <laughs> but shooting with fire, that does like nothing. Dark, you make a large <sighs> of a wind blast. Thank you, sir. Excellent fight there. Uh, Ryder, was it? Yeah, that's me. Uh, excellent fight there, son. Do you understand the concept of that fight? Do you think you've learned anything from it? Right. You're what? You're I what? have. Well, tell me what you've learned then. Tell me what your theories are. You think like you can improve again someday soon here? Perhaps tomorrow. I'm a bit. Well, it kept doing the same rotation from left to right. Sometimes it would wind up behind me, so I had to use that as an advantage. I knew where it was going to go, but trying to land it and pinpoint it was the difficult part. So I had to wait until it ran out of steam. Mm. She's all right. Uh, luckily, push yourself a it did. Day after a tough so here comes the question. Day. Now, say for example, you huh? fight another one. Now that you have defeated She's one, all right. what would be your strategy to fight another one? First off, I would watch his movement. The faster I pin it down, the better. Secondly, striking at its weak points. That would be the key. That's where the tide of battle. Now, is this your first plan? Do you have a plan B? Maybe that was your plan C and you have a plan A? What would be your preparation, knowing that you would fight one? Hmm. If the enemy is much faster than me, I would use my durability to my advantage. I'd take a couple of hits, but I'd be able to respond in kind. Also, Headmaster, do you have anywhere to be? Uh, if I'm holding you out, just tell me. I mostly just... No, it's fine. I'm just mostly oh. curious about... Uh this and how he learned Good. so it's to the point the question i'm asking you Ryder, is basically you see the fire elemental farther into the distance you know you're about to fight it the answers you have been giving me is what would happen during the battle but you didn't tell answer anything of what you prepare for the battle you see it is good and you definitely have skills and natural raw instinct and talent to be able to fight something hand-to-hand -hand during the moment, it is a very valuable thing. But the thing I'm trying to help you learn is how do you best prepare for the fight ahead? You see, preparation is key when you go in into an encounter. The armies on the field do not just stand there in full armor waiting. They need logistics, they need to prepare the terrain, they need to set up traps. So I ask you that same question again. A fire elemental you know will be possibly behind a door. How do you prepare to best eliminate that threat as quickly as possible and with the conservation of your energy and possibly your team? You said behind the door, right? Metaphorically, somewhere where you know it is, but you have not engaged it yet. Well, obviously, I'd bring some water. Exactly. How would you prepare the water? Would you find someone skilled with it? Would you, knowing you're coming into a place with fire elementals, would you find ways to enchant that water to fight it? I would. Since I'm no good with water, I would have someone who's of my team to manipulate the water in such a way. 
Exactly. They would come down on the fire elemental. Meaning their energy is only slightly brought out and yours is still reserved. That means you don't have to engage in every battle, but the simple fact that you've been able to learn basic preparation for your fight means that your fight will, your fights in the future will be a lot easier. It's all good and well that you're able to hold yourself in a fight. If you're able to basically sustain fight after fight after fight and extend yourself even further, you become more efficient. It's not all brawn. You have to use your head a little bit. And if that even is a struggle, rely on your teammates and learn from instincts of basically being hunter and prey. For as you notice, yeah. notice things that our hunters don't like to stay in an extended fight. They like to eliminate the target as quick as possible. I know that from firsthand. Exactly. Yeah. So I hope that's what you've been able to learn um, here. An excellent job in your application of your spells, by the way. You were able to conserve enough to basically blast at it. Even though it's hellfire, I still wouldn't choose that spell. Definitely rely on your teammates or find an alternative. Maybe even ground or suit or anything else like that to basically try to help bring its flames to be a little bit less hotter. But you did an excellent job. I see what you're telling me. In other words... Play to I your strengths. to prepare myself better for... Yeah. And prepare. Mm, so... I should be a lot more versatile with what you're saying. A little bit. You need to be able to be flexible. Prepare for the fight ahead. And if something goes awry where you find that your main attacks aren't working, be sure to have a backup. Because if you only have one... If you're only a one show... And you're definitely going to die in the next battle. Speaking of which, Ryder, if I remember Sorry. correctly during the affinity test, wasn't there more than just fire you were good at? It was only fire that I was good at, sir. Not any other element. Hmm. All right. I thought I remembered another element, but then I guess uh, I thought you were good at darkness as well. Oh, wait! Oh, wait, that's right! In fact, you're focused so much on fire, you forgot that you're able to use dark... ...affinity. I completely forgot my other affinity was darkness! See, you have another tool! You had a new tool, preparation. you had a different tool this whole time. Preparation, yes. preparation, preparation. Now you know what you need to go and investigate on, is that right? Yes, yeah, a, cha a chaos boulder, some such. Would yeah. have done much more damage to Bar that, to even if you arsenal. missed the core. The heat from your hellfire was still boosting it every time you missed the core, because it's still heat. Heat is heat. Uh oh. If I recall, you summoned a merc man once upon a time, though it was an accident. You did summon it from the shadow foam. I, Perhaps I... once you attend more of my conjuration classes, you can control such a thing uh, as your own. Extend your arms out as if you're swinging with arms of shadow. I'm looking forward to it, sir. Thank you. Yes. Because, <sighs> um... I believe I've shown you before. You can remote control a summon, correct? It follows your every movement. You'll share damage with it, but... <sighs> the darkness... I... I can control dark energy. Wait a minute. Does that mean I have an advantage over them? Over them? Can you be more specific? The... The you darkness did? things. The things that... Try to take over well, our th minds. Yeah, things of affinity, of dark affinity, are going to be much easier for you to control. If you were to even dream of summoning a water elemental, for example, it wouldn't have happened. And that's why you failed last time, because you tried to summon a water elemental when you don't have that affinity. Therefore, you Try ended up summoning to... something of the darkness instead. Yeah. <sighs> the darkness leads to many abilities that some would but consider I'll let you think about that and discuss more. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you for opening my eyes to new strategies, sir. As, I appreciate it. Just greatly. remember, as you said, if you light the candle, which is you, at the beginning of the fight, by the time your candle's needed, you won't be bright enough. So let the other candles do their job. So you can all bright the path correctly. No. 
Well said, Misty. All right, I'll have said it and better my out. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Hey. Oh, oh, so I okay. I did, but isn't darkness kind of risky to learn? Yes, it is, does have its risk, but mm-hmm. that's why you're here. To learn how to better mm. control it. As if you have the ability <laughs> and it doesn't deal with you. Let's go. Does my face look funny there? Are you okay? Pull it up, yeah. Someone needs to be taught a lesson. I need you to look at my face. Now, you see my face, correct? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Does it look funny to you? In any way, shape, or form? Does this entertain you? That my mustache wiggles? So what if you, like, light it on fire and then you have a burning mustache? Oh, that did happen at one point. Yeah, so oh, at that point, it doesn't happen again. don't experiment it <laughs> alone. I always have someone with you. I always have a battle buddy. Because that shit you don't want to fuck with. Uh, shit goes fucking crazy. Do you understand me? <laughs> yes, sir. I do. You no, look. fire at me. I'm fireproof up to a certain temperature. Let's not, let's not do that. Now look straight in my eyes. Look straight in my cold eyes. Shit gets fucked up. You understand me? Okay. It gets fucked up. Can you come down to my level? I can't see. Can you come down to my level? It gets fucked up. <laughs> That's exactly how it goes. Gets fucked, you see. Good. I'm glad you understand. So at that point, go off and go get a drink or something. I'm sure you've been uh, exhausted from that. Well, thank you so much, sir. Water cooler in no your, problem. In your room. Oh, oh the little apparatus! I'm, I'm so excited. I've always wanted. Like, I know. It was so I'll neat. make sure to actually bring a couple of. Oh, I, I can lift them very quickly. So I'll make sure to bring a couple of extra uh, things. Actually, actually, I'm so excited. I've never seen one of those before. Mhm. Mm. They're very nice. So at that point, was there an oh, appointment um, that we're standing in on? I see that another professor's there with somebody else. I'm just making sure that we're not entrenching on something. Oh, they're just uh, doing some talking. Would you be interested in having some of my homemade strawberry jam? Sure. It's just sure. Uh, it's delicious, isn't it? And and elf. And Elf has said that to me before, oh, but oh, let's, let's see what you mean it. about it. I kind of want to... I'll tell you when you're older. Let's sure, see. let's go try it. Can I touch your beard? No, you may not. Let's I'm a go. professional for science. Mm-hmm. Fine. Not yet. Oh, it's in, it's in my office. I can drop it off with the water cooler. Yeah, sure. If I'll judge the jaw... Of jam and everything else, and if it's terrible, you may never touch the beard. But if it's good, I'll allow you to brush it once. Okay, I'll show you the jam. Actually, I'll 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 taste it in my tower when I get time. So, well, do you want to see the jar, or do you want me to just drop it off? Drop it off. I was I'm the, confused. The, to make it simple, let's go together to see your jam. Okay. The fuck is this, chat? <laughs> this school. I wonder we're friends, man. I guess opposites do attract. I literally said at the start of it we weren't gonna fuck it in on anybody, and I keep accidentally doing it, apparently. Apparently I'm a piece of shit, I guess. I'm a terrible person. Put it on a shirt. <laughs> Go home. It's like, I want to be in with oh, grandpa. Oh, no. oh. Oh yeah, those, nice. those steps are really tricky. Okay, good. I scared the temporal flux away. The flux given. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Jenna girls invited me for food. Does she really like me? <laughs> it's gotta be the beard. I have no idea what her goal is with this shit, so we're gonna figure it out. Why would I be invited for jam? I don't get it. I'm confused. Chat, help. Okay. Well, let me just get my jar of jam here. Okay. Yeah, I think you'll like... I have, I'll keep them in here. Let me see that one. Strawberry. Raspberry. Where's my strawberry? So it's a big jar, a glass jar. It has... Has moon and heart symbols like mm -hmm. my uh, like my thing, mm -hmm. like my shoulders, mm -hmm. and that's just a standard black black lid with a pink bow. Oh, that's what you're it's imagining. Big. Yeah, mm. it's got my little my oh. little shoulder symbol on the glass. It's very still lovely. got the seeds in it. Very lovely design. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have any bread? Bagels at the... Ah, that's thorn. fine, that's fine. You have a spoon? Yeah. Yes! Here, it's wrapped in a napkin. I keep, make, okay. keep him a napkin to keep the dust off. Okay. It's Over. just regular j strawberries with a little bit of the uh, raspberry and some sugar. Oh, that sounds that sounds delightful. Let's see. Then. Ah, uh -huh. mm. 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 Oh, that's great. Oh, thank God! Oh, oh my God, it, the demon's listening. It tastes wonder. It tastes wonderful. Okay, it's yours. Oh, it's my Oh, such a precious gift. Thank you so much. I will clean off the spoon here with this handkerchief and You can keep the spoon. Are you it sure? It has the same it has the same uh, design on my shoulder pads on it on the end of the spoon. Oh well thank you. I shall wrap it up and keep it as a precious gift and only use it for special days, such as this one. Put it in my pouch. Everything. Now, now, now I will prevent you one brush of the beard. I'm getting your beard on. I have a brushing device. It's also no. good for stabbing, stitching, and tearing. Well, as long as it doesn't get me a disease, I'm good with it. No, it won't. I clean them rigorously because this campus is filthy. I'll believe you. Yes. Okay. Just mustache too or just beard? That, I mean, you're, you're the one who wants in on this action, so you figure it out. I just want to feel how soft it is, because you're stroking it all day long. I'm curious. Go after it. Free reign. Oh, it is soft. Ooh. Oh, it got, it still had jam in it. Oh, now I gotta wash it. That's your beard permit. Now my beard's all dirty. Yeah. That was your jam and you missed your mouth. That's, you missed your mouth. It's the cops of having a beard. I have dinner still in this beard. It's for later. Dinner for later in your beard. Well, you do have That's a That's what my point. dad said. All right, try to push it out. Okay, let me just grab the napkin. Uh-huh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, yep. Let me reposition myself here. There, oh, we there go. you go, yep, yep. There you are, mm-hmm. Yep. There we go. Good, good. Do I look beautiful? You do. You're a fabulous damn tail. <laughs> Excellent. I'm glad that this damn show and the stress can now be beautified by such a lovely night. Now, let's go see what the rest of the grounds are up to. Sounds good. I'll let you lead. Excellent. I oh, probably I shouldn't say let. I will ask you to lead. <laughs> it's at a point of me just overall is being curious at this point, seeing if more knowledge needs to be brought on and everything else, because the spare of the moment of that with even with Ryder and everything, it's 
to the point where I understand that some of these students definitely need to understand more on basically where the magic's coming from. Where are they? Ah, yes, there they are. I knew it was him. There was a bagel. Yeah, let us see. Resolve of mankind and our love for those six thighs. Six thighs save lives. Tyler. They are a form of <laughs> the fuck. I'd save an entire. If six thighs save lives, I'd save the whole goddamn kingdom, baby. <laughs> Well, I brought you a surprise. Arrived. What do you say to those then? <laughs> Bow in the glory that is the sickness with zero thigh gap. Yes, Five. <laughs> Not you. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> is this how you teach your students? Bonding a bit over our wands. I, I <laughs> know. I, I, I see you playing with your wands. <laughs> yes, especially with the thighs. Yes, indeed. Kind of best to come up with uh, really stupid spell names. What can I do for you? I want to see how you teach this. <laughs> Continue. You're going to see how I teach this? Yes, I'm quite curious to see how you use well, thighs as, as an incentive. As a lesson. Oh, as an incentive? Oh, oh, it's a source of motivation. I think you're the prize at this point. I mean, they volunteered it, but still. I, mm. Okay, as you wish. Now, stand by with my awesome attack. The writer. You. The writer. I'm here. Hi, here. I'm Pierce Carver. That, that's below me. That's that's. Below me. It's okay. Well, that one's gonna we, all have, you. we all have short fire sometime. <laughs> <laughs> cough it up there. Let me let me just pat you back. There you go. Cough it up. <coughs> cough it up. If you try to cough it up, you need to reach you. lower there, dear. Oh. Oh. What do you mean? I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> I'm older than you. Are you? I don't want to. Listen, I'm not looking to make him a puppet. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> you fucked, son. All right. So. Hide me. Don't stir the pot. Are so you having fun with that wand? Hide me. I so didn't want to make you. Uh, Why are you I was focusing my. Uh, this is true. This is true. A low room no, technique. I'm okay, I'm safe. I mean, it's got the word to cast a spell, it's not... Whatever. So, that never show what you can do. Good to know. Let's see how maximum okay. capacity you can do to that target. Alright, well, right. Okay. Wait, right. I, really I want you to concentrate your hellfire on this one. I want you to steadily look into oh. it and aim to keep aiming. Oh, just keep aiming. You understand I mean, when you, you basically hold into your magic at this point. What did you concentrate it through the wand. Find it, okay. and speak the word that cast down. out your hellfire. When it'll come back down. Hellfire? Rain! Uh, <laughs> there you are. Hit me with your best shot. Well, these can also become a conduit. And you like cheesy bacon. Let's, do it. Let's not do that again because it will break this one. This is his only capacity oh, right. for the magic missile. But you understand that concept, what I was telling you before. You put your all into that one. It was a mighty spell, bigger I, than the one you did before. I, uh, but also, I did. I, also understand I've never seen it. that these things can also <laughs> amplify. And eventually. Oh, I stole your stick there. And eventually. You can get to the point where you can cast it willy-nilly well, without having a wand to project it efficiently. You can then just do it willy-nilly. So you can go... 
these things are Well, of course, there are times when someone gets there, you're gonna go, Oh, God, help! And then you just... And then you do that. Yeah. There are times you hit the panic spray, I do it too. Or you could be like, Oh, you got something on your head, right? How dare you. I didn't... Oh, great way to initiate a fight. Walk up, ask him to hold something. Yeah, I'm just... Tactics. Oh, I could get away with that so easily. Hey, walk up with a big one, like, hey, you mind holding this for me for a second? Sweet. Let me just clock him. Well, I've done that before when I ask guys to hold my purse. I'm like, yep. I'm like oh, I just, I can't, do you mind holding this for me, please? I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. Oh, no, I yeah, really want to like learn that. that. Yeah. Hmm. Join my lesson, son, and we fist. shall well, see if we can do it. Fist. What? <laughs> it's called look at my tits while I beat you with my fists. It's called distraction. Although some people yes. lick thighs, so I put my fingers around my thighs. So while they're bit. <laughs> Ascension Academy. I see. Coming right to you on behalf of the Cross Allied Forces. Uh, I see. I'm glad we can. Uh... Yes. Sorry, I stole your watch. Yes. It's a legitimate, it's a legitimate tactic when you're doing I... more like one-on-one -on -one assassination. I... You have a low-cut shirt and you ask them to do something then... Or, for those thigh men, you have little daggers around your I got to the waterfall! No! Wait, not the, okay, uh, maybe, maybe avoid the waterfall. Bye. Um, uh, day oh, one, it go got. There. Day one, it was. Uh, it, it was dubbed the uh, Head Pat Waterfall. It's where people go to for uh, their uh, degenerate touch things some, like. Touch some butts holding. and knock some butts. <laughs> they yeah. clap an ass cheeks, they go on the clown, the wham wham and the flim flam. Why do you go there every single day? Why do you go there every single day? Doing the forbidden polka. Then why do you go there every single day? I don't go there every single day. I jump off the top of the rocks. I don't hang out at Head Pat Waterfall. Have you jumped today? I have not. Then let's go. <laughs> oh, Lead man. the way, Professor Carver. Oh, fuck, Jet. Be strong, me jump, me clear way. I'm going to the fucking waterfall. Fine. <laughs> If you chase him, we I just have to chase him. I uh, yes, I see. I will meet you there for one moment. I I I'll try to follow him to find it. Fuck. Hi, chat. Why why you fuckers thirsty? Huh? Why you so thirsty? Huh? Why you do this to me? Hello, right? We were going up this way to the, uh... Yes, yeah, as, as, as designated. The head pat falls or some shit. It's an interesting name. It's quite a pill. Do you need assistance? I no, the old bones will hold up enough. Them bones, them bones, them. Our faith holds us. Up here. Careful the rocks, they're slippery. Hey, when you flan, do a flip. Do a flip? Do a flip. I mean, the point is to try to get all the way across, and I can't do that just yet. You can do it. Do a flip. You said when I land, right? <laughs> do the flip! I ain't going fucking down there. I'm an old man. 
don't know what the fuck they think they think I am. I ain't going down no goddamn waterfall. But they think I am. I'm old as fuck. Gonna break my goddamn hip bones going down there. You fucking me? Like, oh yeah, yo, wizard. Doesn't mean I got no fucking brittle ass bones. Like, fucking goddamn. Ain't no fucking you 27 year old youngster and shit with a fucking good, like, goddamn abs and fuck. I'm like, fuck no. I'm an old man. Gonna break my fucking shit. And wizard teleport. Don't you fucking logic at me, goddammit. I'm a fucking old ass wizard with no millions of spells. I only got like five million duchess on my head. I can't even fucking teleport. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I don't need to hop down there and try to fucking one-up them. Baby, one's coming back. Did you break your hip during... Oh, I'll fuck it. I'll kill you. I need to make someone a good person. Hey, I'm working on it. He should too. Oh. Hello. I apologize oh. if we're intruding. Is this private? Nope, just rifle practice. Pretty much. Uh, hmm. There we are. How goes the tour? Good so far. I've been able to he see mostly everything. Thing. Yeah, I'll have to have that yeah. word of the headmaster. Pleasure to meet you. Rifles. My name's Lorn. Melanie. Oh, yeah. Pleasure That's to about meet you, Melanie. Are you a wizard? I am indeed a wizard. <gasps> Do you have a magic carpet? Whoa. Go. That is, I think, uh, so uh, a different form that you're thinking of. <laughs> but I used to have one. <gasps> Does your magic bag hold several thousand things? Mm. Let's say yes. Currently, it's holding jam. <sighs> Harvard, uh -huh. look. My, home, my, my homemade strawberry bag. Mm. Jam. When you reach into it, you can pull everything out. Whatever you want. Oh. I was empty on this bag. Let's chuck him in. Here, you open it. Here, you I feel open like this the bag, could be I'll some kind of in. roulette. Reach into the bag, see what you pull yeah, out. Ready? Ready? Open the bag, I got it. Oh, that's where that, that crocodile went. So. If someone goes in the bag, they no, might never come back. It's, it's, it's a weird, let's, let's not uh, commit murder in front of me. I'm sorry? Yeah, please, I would I would like to not be shot. People can go in the bag? Whatever is, is in his bag. <laughs> I said people can go in the back? They can, but... I want to uh, go in the back. Lower Thank hand. You. That, nah, can I go in the back? You, you don't want to go in the back. You couldn't lower it if Let's I see, Have you ever gone inside now. a blender before? No. <laughs> That's exactly how it, what happens when a person goes inside mm. the bag. That's a scary bag. If well, I'm excited for your well, classes, Mr. Wizard. Nah, well, thank you. I'll be happy to have you there. I see your uh, the rifle practice. Uh, any particular reason for it? Mm. Oh, he's just showing off. I'm uh, watching. I'm not. I'm wow. just enjoying myself. <laughs> well, regardless if that's true or not, would you like to learn Stop anything while you're here? I don't think I saw you during one practice. Sorry again? I was there. I was just in the back. Not actually. I, I apologize and I what? give you the due attention. Would you like to learn now? I wrote, I wrote C on it. Sure. Uh, this way, I think please. I remember it. C for one. If not, we can do a recap of it. So at this point, I must Cookie. ask, I must ask you, how me. familiar are you with magic, and okay. what affinities are you most used to? I meant for Carver, but you know, well, not too smart to figure that out. Um, I am a magic well, I user. Mm -hmm. uh, I am part dryad, okay. newly okay. <laughs> found out, nice. and I am also a fire elemental. Nice. Uh, but I haven't been using my fire recently. <gasps> I just thought for of reasons. I understood. So I have fire C affinity and shadow. Oh no. Apparently. It's not a C well, it's more like a one of the things is that magic is still basically magic. It's all oh, looped in, song. all the various shanty. affinities. One of the things I want to teach you, or basically was the topic of the lesson, mm. is that Close have enough. you ever tried to cast any magic and felt that you're using a bit too much? Some of the boys got drunk in the evening. Literally, my entire life has been too much magic. So, to this point, we must now try to teach you constraint. Now, this wand is made out of pine wood. And basically, I have enchanted it to basically allow itself to only 
right. basically cast one spell. You can force one other minute. spells to it, but this is to teach you a basic form of magic missile. Now, of course, you can make it hit a little bit harder, a little bit softer, depending on how much magic you put into it. But you see, the difference of this one is, is basically, think of a funnel. You can put so much magic through that funnel to where only so much is going to come out, but the pressure of that depends on its force. And you must learn that the reservoir of your tank must not go too far. Oh, terrible there. So with that, if you don't mind, point the wand towards the target. Aim it at it there. I think I might be going to bed after this one. So if I don't see you, I will see you. I'll drop by your place tonight. My pleasure. It's been an absolute With pleasure. Thank cooler. you. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. It's been a joy of my day. Good night, Melanie. Good night. And then it was Lorraine, right? Yeah, Lamont. Wait, uh... So with that, go ahead. Mm -hmm. There you are. There you go. I suck at aiming. And the purpose now is to learn to control your magic, but you've noticed that you may have put a little too much into it at that point. So you might have noticed that you put a lot of force basically into it, a lot of pressure, basically, a lot of oomph into that attack. Now that you kind of oh. get that feeling, see if you can make it smaller. The projectile will be the same, but the force of it will be smaller. Now try mm -hmm. again. There you are. So with that, basically, I did it. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's, Sorry. it's like I'm just very entranced by It's, this it's like a safety device deploying. So basically, as you, <laughs> as you basically fire fire off at this, you now understand that you you feel that the ocean that is basically your manner, basically being poured through the funnel. Correct. Now you understand that in yeah. the past that you would just let a bucket full of it just spill out in chunks. But now mm. this concept is the teacher. You don't even need the wand. All you need is yourself. So basically point out and do it. Oh, tab is high there. The <laughs> wand has a mind of its own. So at that point, <laughs> you can use it to basically teach yourself there. Where'd Carver go? He needs to talk to Madame Minerva. Uh, well, can I take this back to my room and practice in there, or will I set my room on fire? I recommend not bringing that to your room. In the future, I hope to allow all yeah. of you to find your own wood and craft your own. <gasps> oh, I know exactly which tree! Wait, I must put this away. Thank you for Into the, the crate. No problem. Mm. Be sure to come here at any point to basically learn yeah, as much as you can. The always for training, right? Mm. Well, I usually just come here to learn the crossbow, but... Where did he run off? Whenever you want to turn in, I can take you to the lighthouse. Yeah, it's uh, about time. Yeah, Thanks, it's different. teachers. Good night, Melanie. Uh, it's been a long day. I haven't slept here there yet. <laughs> I was going to think about it because there was a mission underneath it the other night and I didn't really want to sleep there yet. I was actually sleeping. I heard you say you might sleep on a bench. I've been sleeping on benches, actually. Yeah, you can just shack up in the tower. I think they've already arranged my bedroom at this point. I can at least lay down a mattress or half of it. Yeah. Do you want to head up there? I just wander around a little bit first and see who's around. Then we'll go there. And I think I should use some sleep. It is getting pretty late. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's, let's walk around and see what's happening. Have you met Stark? Probably have not. Hi, Stark. Hello, son. Are you doing okay? Uh, hello, Professor. Yes, I'm quite alright. Hello, hello. Hello, Professor Bones. Pleasure to meet you true. properly. I Stark Zephyr. Nice to meet you, Stark. Forgive me if the name slips, but I'll remember your face for eternity. Mm. I'm uh, one of the students more practice in the vocation here, yeah, so I look forward to your classes. Excellent. I look mm -hmm. forward for you being there. Even old, even master at this point can, can learn. Do. I oh, is that Professor? Go ahead. So you should tell him what you can do. Uh, what I can do or what he can do? What you can what do. You can do. Uh, I'm, uh, I guess the term would be aeromancer. 
Uh, try and Make use of the wind. Hmm. Now, let's see. Your structure's fine. Everything else. How officially do you think you're sustaining that? I can sustain, sustain this uh, indefinitely. It's at the point that I've trained it enough that I have restored mana faster than this when I actually drain it. Very good. Very good. That seems to be a lot of problems. I've been working for... Uh, I've been working for about seven years specifically on my wind magic. Excellent. You might be ahead of the game than most, as I've kind of seen, seen in the stadium over there at some point, but I believe you'll be a promising student. I can definitely tell. Mm. There's still much I can learn, so I look forward to the lessons. Have you found any pitfalls so far? Yes, actually. Um, rather difficultly, uh, the way I learn my magic is... This ring is my activator, Hi. and also my partner. So, trying to manifest the magic requires great deals of imagination. What do you mean by partner? I'm having some difficulty... Uh, Sephiris is my ring. Hi. She says hello. I see. You're very lucky. She's wondering why you're staring so closely. You're very lucky, man. Apolo oh, I apologize for my rudeness. I apologize. It's to the point of basically... Making sure you are. You are very lucky, man. <laughs> very lucky. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. But you say it was your activator. Are um, you not able to cast without it? No, sir. I, I was born without the ability to do so. I see, I see. And uh, what happens if that's gone? Well, considering what happened to the last holder of this ring, if it's removed from my body, I will likely die. I see. Have you made uh, advancements to, or preparations to make sure that never leaves you? Maybe, probably imbuing it into yourself? I don't fully understand the makeup of Zephyrus, and neither does Zephyrus, so I've tried not to alter it at all for the sake of not harming her or me in the process. I see. Regardless, though, I, I see a bright future for you. It just, it concerns me. Mostly what I try my best to teach is that you definitely have a knack for it, and I feel you'll be able to excel very quickly. It's just that I don't want to be rude, but I find it as a weakness. But at that point, both of you, I believe, understand that deep inside. And it's to the point where I definitely would like to look up avenues to see what we can do to eliminate that weakness but keeping both of you intact. Might even find another way. Regardless of that, though, you can put your hand on. I apologize to make you exercise so much. Oh, no, this is uh, actually how I stand comfortably. Very well, then. <laughs> yeah, but to that, to that point, I'll be very excited to have you in class. Did you enjoy yourself during the wand demonstration? Were you able to understand the concepts? I did, though, as I was explaining to Professor Bliss, because of how... It works. It was a bit weird for me. It was like filling up a mug to only fill up a smaller cup so I could use the wand. There's a virus. Nah, it's basically transference of that to you at that point. Because it might be weird for you. It feels as if you're taking your jug and basically filling up just a glass of water to then go into a funnel. It's an extra step for you. Yes. Was there any delay for you or was it instant? The first time it was delayed because it felt strange, but after that I was able to cast it without much issue. Yeah, there was much issue, but there was issue. So at that point, I would like to see in the future and how much we can get past that barricade. Because every split second counts, especially when you're dueling someone else who might have some of the same affinities or an opposite one that might be a bit more dangerous for you. So engaging in any sort of duels is split second reactions. And being able to eliminate that is the... For me, for you, our top priority. And luckily for at least my own abilities with Zephyrus, the wind invocation comes from her, so there's no delay there. And do you have anything for yourself? Any affinity for you? Or, I that, have an affinity that... for air, personally, as well as an affinity for Earth. 
And you can't cast Earth, obviously, at that point with that logic. Just going I've never be... tried to cast us, but I have been able to conjure as well as use transportation, enchant, oh well, evocations, not evocation, uh, chants, mm -hmm. the ones that the headmaster has taught us. This I was able to perform those. This is going to be very interesting. Regardless, though, I must retire. And I saw apologize for taking up your mm. time, sir. Take it either way, I'm sorry. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. And Sephiris, was it? Yes, sir. Sephiris. Sephiris, I hope you have a wonderful night. And I hope you do too, son. Mm -hmm. She says thank you. Excellent. Let us be off to the tower. It's been a long <laughs> have a day. Night, have a good night, Professor Bliss. Mm hmm. This is actually my favorite place of the campus now. Just walking up this path. I, I, it's quite funny that even, it's kind of a bit nostalgic for me having to go up a mountain straight to home, but. Yeah? Yeah, this one. I might have to ask the headmaster if I can get a direct teleporter up here because being old and walking up and down at all the time is going yeah. to get kind of tiresome. And if we I want to go to sleep, I would like to not have to hike it the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> well, honestly, there is another way. No. You know well. where we, uh... Go ahead. You know where the hot springs were? There's like a little path through there, too. So there's a teleporter up there, at least. Ah, uh, I see, I see. I wish to uh, avoid the hot springs and having to go through it. I wish to not <laughs> okay. be... I wish to not be that person. Basically, and oh. I like to lessen the traffic there as much as possible for me. Okay. To be honest, not many people go there. Often, anyway. Also, it's kind of a... It's not something that's looked down upon at all here, from what I've gathered. Oh, I, I definitely don't look up, down upon it in any cultural way or anything else like that. It's just something I know definitely I'm not... A humongous fan of, but if other people enjoy it, then oh. more power to them. Right? It's to that point yeah. where I understand it's relaxing, and the I forget the it was the lands to the west. Uh, they usually take advantage of the hot springs every day, and it's uh, mm -hmm. and it's a it's a wonderful thing. It I keeps like their it. it keeps their spirits high. I but then again, I've never been <laughs> naked bodies aren't something that that I really think about too often. It doesn't concern me. Nah, it's just... From my experience of age and old, there's cultures who don't even give a damn and cultures who are very finicky about it. But one of the things I've learned in academies is that you must never go barging in where people are slightly yeah. undressed. <laughs> It causes a huge problem, and it's a stain on your record. And, <laughs> That's what I've learned. And then they'll go to the fucking council person and they go, this person did blah, blah, blah. And then you got to write a report yeah. and then fuck it. You know, and then, then the person's going to be unreasonable, and I'll listen to your excuses, that you just muddled into the wrong room, and then it's just a <laughs> whole shitstorm from there. Yeah, I did accidentally go into a student's room once, but I thought she invited me in, but it turns out she didn't. That was a little awkward, definitely. Yeah, that, that, that's, it brings problems, but I understand some people can handle it, so I'm not all that worried on yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, after the desert it. mission, I don't know if you encountered any harpies. Oh, you know, I've, if they charm you, they can... I've encountered a few, lustful. but I make sure to, uh... If I know where I'm going in advance, I'd be sure to plug my ears with a bit of uh, the rags from my robe and some from yeah. my scarf. I usually have no trouble avoiding harpies because I've been charmed so much my whole life, but Professor Carver has got taken away and I got bombarded by the queen and everything, so it left me, it definitely left me yeah. with feelings of curiosity afterwards. I see, I see. Well... First point, I think we should head to bed. I hope you have yeah. a pleasant night. Thank you, you too. All right, I'll it's see nice you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I shall see you tomorrow. Okay. Nice have a good night. Good night. <laughs>